Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest apples that Darcy is eating and the newest games except for today because we're doing After Dark instead of a show because we have to get through hundreds and hundreds of games. So many games. <laughs> uh, and today we are diving into 1983, the year of the crash. I actually have to log into that computer too. Yeah, let the horror begin, as Thress says. Uh, we have a bunch of games uh, today. I think like 35 or something uh, that we're going to be playing through. There are some true horrors within this list, but also some true magic as well. Me. Not a lot about me. Uh, some of my favorite games, in fact. Sp Spider Fighter, which we're going to start off with, actually. I, uh, but first... I've never heard of that one. No? Spider Fighter? Spider Fighter! Mm -hmm. One of the best shooters, old school shooters, on the 2600. It's awesome. Uh, but first, we're going to talk about the Twitch subscribers scrolling beside Darcy in cyberspace. He can't actually see them, but you guys can. So I you can have see a, them. You have advantage over Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, includes Al Nefer, Arkham H, Arkham Arsk. Armscar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Poker, Buck Owens, Burl Live, Cafe Man 2D, Carl's Majuda, Carl's, Charles and Chuck, Charles Wheeling, Coconut 81, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Dan FC, Daryl 1970, Direct Soul, Duck, Moo Cows, Great Defender, J Ground Trooper, Roger Rapper, Johnny Nitro, Johnny WC Computer, JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Kev Kelly, Lauren TDZ, Marco Yannis, Mark Spacek, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Sarno, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strump, Packard, VG, Cog RC70, R. Anchowitz, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, PG Gorkardo Pin, Marod Castler, Six Sweets, Made to Be, Spice Rare, Samir, Zadi, Train, Walshman, 89, Tiki Dan, KTM Events, Check, Trek MD, X, Ken X. And if you want to support the show, you can get your name on that list by hitting subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime and not free without it. <laughs> not free without it's it. It's all pay without <clears throat> it. RC70, uh, especially, like, the, I come from Vancouver Island and I have to take a ferry here. And in the summertime, the ferry leaves. 20 minutes later than it does in the rest of the year and so i really am just getting here like a minute or two before the show every time so yes. that's why it's it's uh it seems that way because it is that way <laughs> did, he, did he say you look exhausted like out of no breath, he says that i uh, it always looks like i have just made it <laughs> i'm not quite ready <laughs> it, it, it's pretty much that case uh but he doesn't need to be ready all he needs to do is waggle the joystick a little bit and pretend to enjoy himself <laughs> that's all he needs to do pretend. <laughs> i'm not good at pretending <laughs> Uh, well, it looks like I'm enjoying myself. It's yeah. it's, it's legit. It's 100% true. Um, so we're going to be playing games number 256 to 290 today, I think. No, that's not right. No, uh, there are actually, that's my note, there's 200 games in 1983. So we're going to be doing multiple shows. This is the largest chunk, the largest year of 2600 games, classic 2600 this games. This is why. <laughs> there's, a, like, yeah. there's a link between the crash and the number of games. Yes, there's, there's a massive yeah. glut. When there's 200 <laughs> games to buy in a year, mm -hmm. there's going to be some failures happening because there's not enough uh, entertainment money to go around to spend <clears throat> amongst all these. Yeah. And also, some of that entertainment money went towards some of these games you'll see today. And people got a little disillusioned <laughs> with the state of things in the market. Um, but after 1983, and I mean 84 to 92, there are 80 games. So that wow. tells you yeah. it down. went from 200 games little bit. in one year... To 80 games. There are fewer the games after 10. 83 than there were in 83. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. No, I mean to the 90s. I yeah, guess. into the into 92 when it cra when when it uh, they stopped producing uh, Atari 2600s. Um, also, <laughs> waggle and pretend. Next lit sign for ZPH. How many games were there in 1982? Ooh, I don't have that information. Uh, I think there was just over a hundred. Yeah. Uh, about a hundred. Yeah, we did about 35 every day each of the days in 1982 and we did three days 
Um, and some disclaimers for 1983. The dates are almost non-existent mm. for release dates. Ah. At best, we have what month they were in. Mm -hmm. There's only a That's pretty good, though. A month is pretty good. It's pretty good. And I would say... Less, it could be a lot worse. I about guess is a what I'm saying. third they know the month of. Mm. But a lot of them were like made all over the world. There's no information. They're made in small amounts. Uh, so very little information about most of these. So the ones we're going to be playing today have no date whatsoever except 1983 they were put out in. They huh. don't know what month. Wow. No idea. Just sometime in 83 they were put out. It is believed that they were put out in 83. <laughs> Even that. That's as close <laughs> as you get. Because on the documentation it said 83. Could have been in 84, but it said 83. Um, could have been made in 82 and released in 83. Would or who knows? It just somewhere it says. I mean, presumably now. some of them were made in '82. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's yeah, most likely. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what I did is for games in '83, we're just going to start with those that I don't know any date other than the year, and I've put them in groups of the company, the company that made them. So we'll be doing groups of companies like today. Uh, we'll do an Activision first because this came in alphabetical order. Activision's first. They did that on purpose, by the way. <laughs> Named their company Activision, so it was the top, specifically above Atari. Um, <laughs> and then Answer Software, then Atari, Bit Corporation, Bomb, CC, etc., etc. So that's how it's going to go for the first bit of today. Um, yes, and disclaimer we're also going to be playing these five minutes at a time. We are not experts at these games. Some of them I just read up on today how to play them, so we don't even know some of them in depth. Some of them we know really well, like Spider Fighter. I have the, <clears throat> I have the patch for that one. I've earned the patch. I don't have... Oh, do I? Yeah, I do have the patch for that one. Um, and today I only have five actual cartridges uh, uh, for the games because a lot of these are super rare. Super rare, yeah. yeah like yeah. super limited numbers, not made by big companies. Um, yeah, and they didn't sell very well, so a lot of them were destroyed or lost, that kind of stuff. Um, I can't help but notice that your uh, preview screen is blank. <laughs> oh, sure. Okay, just I'll move I was to that. a little worried. Yeah, they don't have something to switch to. It's <laughs> a good observation. <laughs> Activision name was selected to be alph alphabetical before uh, Atari, mm -hmm. and then their next company that they formed was also uh, Absolute Entertainment. That's that's the name they chose for that one. So it came before even Activision. <laughs> so, oh, those well, are I mean, in the old days... Yeah. Thank you for resubscribing, Ricardo Pam! Woo! Like in the time of months. Yellow Pages, people exactly. would name their businesses AAA, whatever, AAA, whatever, to yep. be first in the, the phone book. Yeah. And even for, like, new games out, and they would list them... Maybe by game name, but if there's a bunch of games by the same company, they might list them by company name, like we're doing today. <laughs> uh, there's two games. There's one game I can't even play, um, but we will get to that. And get and two games that we can't really play, but we'll play them anyway. We'll fumble doing them. Uh, so that's it. Uh, what does it say when someone subscribes? I always want to ask. Oh. A zero-page homebrew, homebrew subscriber. I think uh. it's a zero-page homebrew subscriber. Or thank you. Yeah. It's using uh, the voice, the Atari Vox voice, I believe. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, we're ready. And we're going to play Spider Fighter first, which is good because it's a good game. <laughs> so it's good to start off with a, a good game. Let's find joystick number one. Uh, I think it's this one. Yes, it is. I think we have one two-player game today. I never understood it either. Uh, you gotta switch the screen. Oh, I gotta do a couple things, yes. But let's switch that over. And why is that five minutes being naughty? Because uh, I reduced the size of the five minutes. Oh, and now it's cut off on the bottom? And now it's cut off. And the last time it was perfect. Silliness. So annoying. 
Okay, let's... We don't want that happening. Yeah, I didn't... Sometimes with the robot voices, uh, they're so consistently <laughs> indecipherable. I thought we were all just proud that the computer was technically talking and not so worried about what it was saying. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's more of an accomplishment <laughs> that it's talking. It's talking. <laughs> the next the next milestone is... And we can understand what it said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah, this is very basics uh, for the talking. So this is spider fighter as in we fight spiders? Uh, Because you don't look like a spider, so I think we are fighting spiders. Uh, um, alien spiders. Uh, yep, that, there that they looks are. like some spiders. And they, they lay eggs, so you want to basically shoot everything in yeah. this game and avoid their bullets. That I guess they're like... That is um, pretty much it. They're like those spiders that throw nets. Like yeah. Spider-Man. But we already played Spider-Man. I can't start playing until the timer starts going because... Boom. Oh my god, now I can play! And go! Shoot the ball, shoot the ball, shoot the ball, oh avoid the bullets! It is high action. High action. And they will steal. They'll steal it! Don't let them steal it! Oh, good. Oh, oh don't, you got hit. Also, don't let them shoot you. So this is Spider Fighter. Uh, came out in 1983. Uh, AX 021, made by Larry Miller, also known oh. as Phantom UFO. He hit me with a spider thing. There's also a number of PAL games today, um, but we're going to use the emulator to play the PAL games. Nice. Uh oh. Shoot him. No love for paddles at Activision. Very little love for paddles. They they did. They probably just thought. It probably they were just like, well, if we want. Um, I don't think people to buy the games, we should uh, make games that use the controllers everybody has. That is very true. Uh, I mean, they did. The paddles did come with the system. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what uh, they came with. Paddles. They came with two joysticks, two paddles. What? One paddle set. Let's say. Oh. Oh, it's gonna, he's looking no, to steal no, it. No, and they have the, uh, the uh, indicator of... Um, uh, the indicator is correct. Which it's, indicator? When there's a guy at the bottom, that's how many you have left. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, that's a good observation because it's bad any other way. So you... The problem with the paddles, I guess, is that it's it's a different game. It is a very it's not different just, game. It's not just a different type of controller. It's like a different game. When you paddles can... Paddles have absolute positioning. Yeah. And like, you can go anywhere at any time. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it completely changes the way the game is played. Yeah. Which may be good, may be bad. It may make it too easy. That's the problem. Oh, God. You gotta shoot those guys immediately. With the, the, the saucers? Yeah, because they lay the eggs that turn into the spiders. Mmm. You get points for killing spiders? Now, I can't remember what the strategy is for for the points. Uh, because I, I can't remember if you want to kill the spider laying thing immediately or you let it go for a bit. Russ says that his didn't come with battles. Really? I thought they maybe maybe they originally did, and then the the, the yes. plastic version <laughs> That's didn't right. have them or something. The junior maybe didn't, or because later There's, games we're not playing any paddle games today. Yeah. There's very few paddle games. When did they later. start to be uh, flaky? Uh, did flaky it take as, a long time as in not work being oxidized and needed to be cleaned and what have you? Because that's not something good. people do. They're pretty good, oh, okay. I find. It's, and you can even get them going by just wiggling them a bit. Yeah, but I mean, you it's say they're pretty good, but you had to clean all of yours. So they're, no, they're not. <laughs> they're not pretty good. I mean, they, mu they they may have been pretty good at the time, and that's what I'm asking about. Yeah. Um, it's probably better to ask people who had 2600 back, back then. But in the mid-90s, that's all I can speak for, is that they were jittery. So, you know, 20 years after, I have yes, to make noise with these nuts. I just have to. No! I was going to starve to death. You have to eat them before and after the show. What? Uh, you so have to noisy. start the show later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> ah, 
The colors in this game, uh, the action in this game is unbelievable. Um, the handling of the enemies is awesome. Like, it looks like there's tons and tons, which there are tons of enemies on the screen, but they don't put more than two on the same line mm. so that there's no flicker. Activision hated flicker, mm -hmm. which is, you know, if you can get away with it, don't put flicker in your game because it, it does look worse, right? In my opinion. Some people yeah, like it looks really flicker. good and, and the gameplay is good, yeah. Yeah, it's super fast. What's the chat saying? Any insight about paddle jitter and how early it uh, started? No, nope, nobody complained. No? Okay. So it must have been not very early. Arena Sledge said the 2600 Jr. came with one joystick and no... Oh! Combat. Ah, interesting. Okay. And the Jr. was the plastic one, right? Oh, well, it's a small... They were all made of plastic. Time's up! I don't think they're made of wood. <laughs> uh, next one is Confrontation. There's Spider Fighter. So load up confrontation, please. Uh, oh, I didn't transfer it over. Oh my God, this is gonna be a disaster. We're gonna have to pause, uh, pause things for a bit. We're pausing things. That's when you don't stop them. <laughs> you keep them going. You just put them on hold. It's that two lines up and down symbol as opposed to the square or the arrow triangle shape. So yes. we're using those two up and downies. That's pause. And you presumably don't... we will restart the counter once the pause has ended. Yes, we will. I'll just stop. I'll, I'll pause the <laughs> counter. Russ okay. says the best part of the show is done now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's some good games. There's some decent games. There's <laughs> actually some surprises, I think, in some of the more obscure games. Uh, that I uh, I liked some of them <laughs> that that are coming up. Most of them, eh, not so great. But it's fun to discover terrible games as well, and yell super at them. fun, yell at those terrible games. So poor little sprite. Well, not by the next episode, but after the next episode, he will have. He'll, let, he'll, he'll be lighter, less of less less sprightly, <laughs> less of a sprite. Um, he's getting tutored. He's getting tutored with an N. <laughs> to neutered. Uh, okay, so if you can now load up. That's the wrong date, isn't it? Yeah, it's fifth. But pretend it's a fifth. Uh, confrontation. It now is. it does say prototype, but this was actually released on cartridge, and this is a two-player game. Oh. It's like uh, action chess. So you're trying to get your characters. I'm red, you're blue. You select your character by being over it and pressing the button. Mm -hmm. And now you can move it left, right, up, and down. Oh, maybe not. Oh, maybe it's just left and right. I thought you can move it up and down. And you want to get that uh, thing when it says an E. Okay. Okay. Oh, some of them... Oh, different ones have different movements. Yeah, it's like chess, man. So uh, you got to get your pieces to the across the board to the other side. Block you. Ah! Oh, somebody got E. Oh, how come I can't... There we go. I can move that one up and down. Can't get past that. I can't go up there. Mm. Oh, oh, no, oh! I can kind of go up a bit there. That guy. Cause you can't cross your own path because they don't want to, I guess, in introduce flicker. <laughs> I think we're at an impasse here. <laughs> I can't. I can't move them anywhere. Oh. I can't move that one. I can move that one only a tiny bit. Ah ha! There you go. Can't move that one up. So I, I can move. 
that one back, but I can't move it up or down. Oh, probably because this one's in the way. Now I can move this one up, but not enough. Oh, okay, you have to move your own out of the way so that yours can move. I see, okay, because two of yours can't be on the same horizontal line. What is going on? Graphics rating, F. <laughs> um, graphics are okay. Uh, it's like football chess. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. You can kind of block, but he'd be able to go down. Ah, no! Okay, running for it. I don't really have points. I don't see any points. But now it's cleared, so you can just... Make a run for it. Oh, but you, you got there first. Now what? Go and move we feel these as things? though we don't um, know how to play. <laughs> we we, to play we only have another bit. minute and forty-five seconds. This to looks him. like a confusing mess. It's either an awesome concept or a terrible one. I can't tell <laughs> the difference. It seems pretty cool. I think it probably is pretty cool, but it also isn't clear. What's happening? I guess there is a bit of flicker. So see, I can move that guy there and move around him. But, oh, you made it. I what I, what I haven't done is figured out. I'm gonna block you there. seems like just a race now. Like, as soon as some of them are gone, it makes it so much easier. See? Like... But I'm almost out of energy. I need more energy. Oh, that didn't give me enough energy. Ah! How come you have so much energy? You must have, uh... The energy block. I think you won because. Let's just say I won. Because <laughs> you got all yours at the end to the other side. Strange game. Yeah, six seconds left in this game. Uh, this was put out by Answer Software, uh, made by Kim Ellis. Oh, that was it for Activision, that first one? Uh, for today. Hmm. For today. Next one is Gauntlet, and not the Gauntlet you think. <laughs> Load up Gauntlet, please. Uh, Gauntlet was also made by Answer Software. ASC1002 made by uh, Mike Wentz. Okay, so, avoid everything. Oh, actually you did start there. Avoid everything. You can run faster. You can jump over like rocks and logs with the button, but you uh, can't jump over the arrows or the hatchets. And you want to get, there's some people that come up in the game. You want to touch them. Nice, successful jump. Oh, unsuccessful jump. What is above his head when he hits something? Oh, his sweat. This goes, whoosh. sweat flies off. Oh. Looks like you have a limited amount of sweat because you've got like a sweat bucket, <laughs> sweat bucket at the bottom that is almost empty. You want to get those people, but obviously that's hard. He moves very slowly left to right. He's a sprinter. Yeah, he's looking straight ahead. He's thinking about the objective, not left and right. He's like, I got to run fast forward. Whoa, oh. You just trip on the trees? Oh, oh, somebody was hiding in the bushes there. I feel like maybe I slid. Uh, yes. That seems more like it. Woof. Good dodging. I can dodge moving things, but not, not stationary trees and such. Ah! <laughs> Tomahawk to the head. I think I already read all the information about this one. Yep. 
So some of these games, I am playing the NTSC oh, version. Oh, yeah, when you pull back, you slide to slow down. Oh, okay. So you can slow down really quick if you need to. Well, no, you can't. That's the point, is that you slide. You have inertia. Oh. Oh, can you slide under the things that are going across the screen? Maybe. Maybe. The original Infinite Runner. Yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. A lot of the games we're playing today uh, originally came out in PAL versions, but we're playing all the NTSC. Oh, is that the end? Oh, the yeah, I think it's a level. Oh, um, you keep adding it. Ah. Well, I saw a zero and I thought, oh, I'm done. Da -da -da, you made it. I think. Oh, you know, you're still going. Oh, that's a refill of your health. Oh, of your sweat. Yep, your sweat bucket gets refilled. There's a, a, a number, too, that went down, and now it's at zero. Hmm. Stuck at zero. Can you just play this infinitely? Well, you're getting points. Oh, it's not infinitely in. until you run out of sweat. Ah. Dare I say you're doing worse than I am? <laughs> Way <I did>. worse. <laughs> Way worse. Oh, there we go. Now I'm dead. I wonder what so, the two is. So you get lives, but also you don't die when your lives are over. You, you die when your lives and sweat is over. <laughs> uh, well, you use sweat when you die. Oh, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. So you get lives and every time your sweat goes... Oh, oh. Every time your... It's it? not lives. Buttons very. No, it's sweat buckets, right? Total sweat buckets. <laughs> oh, maybe. I pulled back. Do you have to press a button and back? You gotta pull back and hold back. Oh, you can duck. Button and down. Hmm. So that's just. You see it there? Yeah. So that's just slow. You have to hold back. Not yeah, to yeah. Press it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, because it's like an inertia thing. If only they put a little shadow when he jumps. Yes. And that would have been, like, mm -hmm. super easy to do. Oh, I did duck under, over that. Under that. It's not a terrible game. What are those things? I don't know. I didn't get any points. You didn't take any sweat. <laughs> no. Maybe you got sweat. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, uh, tree. stuck under that. I kind of did. There you go. Uh, good graphics. Uh, interesting gameplay. Uh, you're running a gauntlet, hence the name gauntlet. Ah, uh, I see. Could have been, could have been decent. Uh, we're playing Malagai. Malag Malagai? Uh, also by Answer Software. ASC1001 by Mike Wentz. Uh, okay. This one's... So you have to touch the guys that match the first one. So the one with two eyes. And then you go up to the top middle. Nope. Don't touch. Oh, did you get the right one? No. Nope. Okay. I don't know what's happening. Okay. Get the guy with two eyes. Mm -hmm. And then they will turn. Then run away from him. Okay. Nope. Not fast enough. Have to run away immediately. It's a very slow death. Is that what that those bubbles are? <laughs> Uh, uh, bubbles? Now down. I'm down. Okay, and then run for that top area that's flashing. Uh-oh. Yeah, they get vicious. Because they're running away from you at first. But then they run towards you. Okay, so I have to get the guy with two eyes. Because that's the first thing that's listed at the top. Then I deposit him in the uh, airlock. Now Who's I have to a get key? the guy, guy with. He has a key? Yeah. Get that guy. Always a key to open it, I guess. Mm -hmm. See? And now I need the guy with one eye. One small eye. One small eye, not the big eye. Ah, no. Ah, come here. Nope. Nope. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I'm gonna turn up the volume here. A little bit lower here. There we go. Level one done. It's Pac-Man-y. Another maze game. 83, that's a little tired. <laughs> but it's it's a twist on it, I guess. There's also oxygen that you need to be aware of at the and you replenish it by going to the bottom there mm. that's flashing. The length of time it takes for you to die is tedious. <laughs> yes. It's a little slow. Oh god. They trapped me. I like this one. Simple, a good concept. What's it called again? It is called <laughs> M-A-L-A-G-A-I. Malagai. Malagai. Yeah. Good luck pronouncing that. It's it's in, it's an interesting twist. It's not. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's, it's not terrible. The only oh. thing. Okay, I gotta get my extra, I guess. Uh, the only thing that is um, yeah, that I'm not that I don't particularly like about it is that it's really long death. I really like I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Nope, just enough. Oh, they're so deadly. Uh, one small eye. I think what happens if you get the wrong one is that. Get oxygen. You have to run away for a oh. while. Or I don't get oxygen? What happens? Oh, I can only get it when it fully expires? Maybe that's just a hiding spot. And that uh, countdown is when they turn into crazy beasts. Mm. And then I have to avoid them for a bit. And then they turn back. I see what you're saying about that makes a hiding sense. spot. That's oh, where no, you go I... to reset it. Ah, yes. If okay. you get the wrong one. There we go. You have to reset it. There he is. Come on. Come on. Yep, oh, yep. Oh. Run. Run away! Run away! Run away. Yep, yeah, follow me, please. No, don't go there. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, God. Oh. Turn up the list a little bit. That's better. Okay, dude. Come here. Oh, <laughs> damn it. It's not an easy game, so that's good. I mean, it looks like a simplistic game, which it is. Like, the rules are super simple, but it's not easy. They get very difficult when you actually hit them. Okay. That's it. Um, not terrible. Not terrible. Next one's Donald Duck Speedboat by Atari. Even though this says prototype, it was released uh, in uh, Brazil. Uh, CX-26106, made by uh, Peter C. Ninde. Not couch compliant. Damn you, Atari of 1983. Damn you, Disney. Pretty much avoid everything. Donald Duck Speedboat is not very fast. <laughs> no, you, you can it's press, Donald Duck's press a button. Boat. Boat, yeah. There you go. Avoid the rocks. Wrong! You can back up. It's an exceptionally frustrating game, by the way. How do you back up? Uh, you press back. I'm pressing back. And the button. Oh. Or something. Try moving around. Move the joystick. Waggle it. There you go. You're backing up a bit. There you go. There we go. Atari of 1983 should be an actual company name. I suggest that as well. Google says Malagaia is somewhere in Lithuania. Oh, so it was named after a place? Are there robots with one eye, one small eye, two small eyes, and one big eyes there? Maybe. It's not clear how you back up. It doesn't always work. No. It, like I said, frustrating. Frustrating controls. <clears throat> <laughs> I think, oh, you know what? I think Hold you it? have to hit something. To back you up? can't back up until you've hit something. Oh, weird. But you hit something and you stop. <laughs> yeah, the center is the fast part, but uh, by the time you get to the center, you're almost all the way through anyway. 
This seems like something that would be on the Intellivision, the last one. Yeah, it does. Um, Avoid? No! Yeah, but you can't go above them. I couldn't go any higher. Oh, I see. I was not permitted to go any higher. This is probably the easiest screen. It's these guys. So it's your boat that hits. I would go down. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit easier of a path. Oh, fish now. Oh, no! Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, I think, like... You have to go for the one that is spinning in that one. Because if you go for the one that's not spinning, it'll appear there. I, I, yeah, the graphics are pretty good in this one, actually. Mountains and the clouds. Like, that screen is just terrible, right? You crash immediately. And I didn't... Um, oh, I stopped. Like, I intentionally was like, oh... At least the collision's better than E.T. True. You did it! You did it! And your score is based on if you're going fast. If you're not going fast, you don't get any points. Timer's not going. What? How did it stop? I didn't do that. Oh! Oh, it only updates when it's uh, the screen's open, I guess. Oh, weird. So it was going, that's good. Oh yeah, I had it minimized. I was looking at something, I guess. Okay, fast speed. And crash. Uh, yeah, you can't back up again until you crash. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh my, oh god. my god. I guess middle is where you want to be most of the time. In case you encounter that one. Yeah. Uh, fish. Get. Oh, okay. Mm. Ah. It's a kid's game, <laughs> I'm guessing. Let's try a different level. Let's try level four. Ah, middle. Stay in the middle. Huge points. Like, look at the score. Six digits. Oh, come on! Oh, I have to back up. Oh. But you're not timed. So it's okay that you crash. Hmm. You get points. Do you get deducted when you crash? You get fewer points for getting to the finish later, I think. Later? I'm not so sure about that. Okay, do it slow now. You have eight seconds to figure it out. <laughs> I mean, if you move slow, Sorry, yes. Four, three, two, you get one. Time's up! <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely much worse than Tanya about that. Okay. <laughs> Next one's Obelix. Not worse, more fun. More fun. I'm more fun Stick than Tanya in that way. More fun. Which one? Uh, Obelix. As an asterisk and obelix. Asterisk and obelix. Uh, CX26117, made by Suki Lee, Dave Jolly, Jeff Guzman, Andrew Fuchs. Okay, you'll need to know how to do this. Okay. You I think it might be couch compliant. But... Oh, yeah, I think it started. Okay, don't press a button. Stun the, stun the dudes, mm -hmm. stun that dude, and then drop the thing on him from above. Nice. And you can go up uh, at the bricks. No, no, you have to stun him first. Wait for it. You've stunned him too early. Oh, too late. No, don't press the button. Until you want to drop it. You just um, touch him to stun it. Just okay. touch him to stun it. Missed. Oh. And don't touch him when he's purple. You have to get out of the way. You have to go up. There you go. Nope. <laughs> It's actually an interesting game. Oh, you have to catch the thing he's fall he's gonna drop. And then you get like a power pellet. Get it! Okay, you're super powerful. Destroy! Destroy him, my robots! Oh, now you're normal. So, now you do it again. Get the blue guys, drop the thing on them. Oh, oh just missed. And he's gonna turn purple. Oh! Who knew that I'd be bad at this? Who? Can you, can you lose this game? I don't know if you can. Because I don't see any lives, but maybe they're just not showing lives on the screen. 
Nice. I got one. He turned into a big L. Nice. Another L. No, I meant the previous one. Oh! No, you can't lose. That's why I think it's a it's a kid's game. No! Oh. No! Oh. Oh. Silliness. So you have about half a screen before he turns purple after you stun him. You can kill red Romans using the magic potion. Yes. Um, so that's the only time you can kill the red ones is when you get the magic potion from that drops from the top. Nice. Moves. Smarsh. Oh, a C. Good job on getting the C. <laughs> I don't know what the C means. Nice. Smoosh. L. Maybe they're different ranks. L's and C's. Uh-oh. Uh oh just missed it. I am they haven't bad. invented losing yet in 1983. Oh, I missed it. Ooh, you only have one guy that's... Oh, you better get that magic potion. Because <laughs> they're all purple. <laughs> oh, boy. Nope. Pow. Oh, there was lives. Yeah, there was one one left. Roman numerals. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's the points you get. Yes, it is. X for 10. That's pretty clever, actually. Get the purple ones. As many purples as you get. Quick. Turn them all back. Get 100 points, 1,000 points. No, L's are 50. That's right. I I like this game. It's got a lot going on. You have to... Oh, a D. What was that? What's a D? I can't remember what a D is. M points, not a thousand points. Isn't M a thousand? Am I mistaken of what M is? D is 500. Okay, yeah. Now oh, you're kicking ass. Now you know how to play. Pow! 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 Get him! Get him! Oh, oh, oh! Smash! Oh. All five! Ding! <laughs> D is 500. Yes. Oh, oh, balls. So close. Oh, balls. Oh, no, oh balls. No! <laughs> it's funny. Can you clobber multiple at the same time? Uh, how many points do you get for it? it when but you, you do could. It? You could try. That'd be very challenging, but you could. Oh, now he's running fast. Try it with that one at the top. Oh. Yeah. I want to see you try. Oh! I was just going to give you the chance, but I used all of the points. Next one was released on cartridge. It is a hack, but we're going to play it because it's uh, old school. It's Pepsi Invaders from Atari. Uh, it's a hack of Space Invaders, uh, also called Pepsi Invaders Coke Wins, uh, made by Richard Maurer and Christopher H. Shoot that Pepsi! So you're Coke, and they're shooting Pepsi. What was the name of the game you just played? Uh, Obelix. I was pleasantly surprised by that. I actually would enjoy that game. I'm going to put a little, little uh, dock beside that one. I'm going to keep track of all my favorite games that we play. Or a check. Spider Fighter, obviously. And then at the end, I'm going to make a list of all my favorite games that I played through of all 450 plus. Uh, v minutes are up. <laughs> Phaser games. <laughs> Phaser cat games. That's that is pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it's Space Invaders. It's classic. It's pretty much the same. It's pretty much the same game. It's just the graphics have changed. But this was released on cartridge, so we're gonna play it. Uh, even though it is a hack, I don't know if it counts, but I'm gonna say it counts. A different way to shoot some coke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Gaffy Man, 2D. You're five, <laughs> your five minutes are up. Get off the stage. <laughs> What's up with the timer at the bottom? 
So this stage a cat. Uh, that's a good question. I think it's part of a contest. Does anybody, I, I didn't do any research on this one. It might've been part of a contest for um, high score. So that how many points you can get in X minutes. Ah, too slow now. Maybe I'll just go for the UFO. Ah, get it. Damn it. Nope, I'm a little bit behind. Oh, no, oh, I got it when he turned around. Da -da -da. Is our timer? <laughs> this should be called Pepsi wins because that's the case. Pepsi <laughs> will always win in the end, like literally. Because you will be defeated by the timer or there's no, is there lives? Are those lives in the bottom left and right? Or is it just pure timer? I think left and right is. Oh, I'm gonna um, actually die here. Oh, maybe not. I can rescue it. Get I think left and get right it. is. Oh, just they don't come the, down. The. Oh. Oh, so you can't die. And you. So the timer is, the only thing. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, so Pepsi does not win. <laughs> Coke does always win, even with zero points and you shoot nothing. Coke was always guaranteed to win. In fact, it's fixed. It's a fixed get contest. Get the P. Coke, Coke wins. wins. <laughs> Always Coke wins. But we still have a minute. <laughs> so it's three minutes. Three minute timer. That's uh, funny. Yeah, big massive rivalry between Coke and Pepsi in the 80s. Yeah, but who made this? Uh, Coke, obviously. Because it says Why? Coke wins. Why uh, would they advertise Pepsi? They talked about there's each other. Way more, there's way more. A lot in the 80s. Like, like they Pepsi is in it. the name? And Pepsi is all over the screen. <laughs> I know. Like it's like more Pepsi than Coke. Like, yeah. Like it's not a good idea. Uh, that was an advertising strategy in the eighties. Is talking about your uh, competition okay. constantly. Yeah. Like uh, Nintendo and Sega constantly talked about each other. Yeah. They said Nintendo, right? Um. I, I, and then advertising went away from that because I think it's not effective talking about your... Well, it makes sense. It would make sense for Pepsi to make something like this because yes. they were the underdogs. So talking about the most known company yes. and like... Uh, but Coke giving uh, exposure to a smaller this company... This game is my new Coke fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it's because... They changed Coke to taste more like Pepsi. That's why it they failed. made it sweeter. Yeah, yeah. Pepsi's sweeter. There you go. And it was like the whole thing was like the Pepsi taste test worked for Pepsi because if you only have one sip, then sweeter's good. But if yep. you have a whole bunch, then yeah. Phoenix, awesome, awesome, awesome game. One of my favorites. Multiple levels, different creatures. Who made this one. Uh, Atari. We're in the Atari section. Um, this was made by Mike Feinstein and John Marakek. I love this level. You can shoot. Oh. If you shoot them in the middle, they die. If you shoot their wings, they lose a wing. They lose a wing. And, and they eventually regrow the wing. And too. you are fined for abuse to <laughs> animals. That's right. Ah. How are they flying? They have no wings. <laughs> Magic levitation powers. Uh, I, I love that they have wings that can be shot off. It is so good. <laughs> do you get points for shooting wings? I believe you do. So you can game the system with like one Can you left. farm them? You can farm it's wings. It's like those crabs. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys watch uh, Travel Man in the episode where they were like eating crab uh, claws from these crabs that they would oh, only... Oh, you have a shield. What's that? You have a shield. Down oh. for a shield. I forgot about that completely. Uh, or up. Up. Maybe. But you can't move with the shield. Uh, no, I did. I missed that travel man. Yeah, they they ate crabs. Sustainable crabs? Well, they would take the crab's claws and they would set the crab free and it would regrow its claws. Oh, poor <laughs> crab. I imagine that it's the sort of thing that was happening to it a lot in nature. True. I'm not saying it's not poor crab. I, of course, I mean, had the exact same 
we regrow our skin, had. but I certainly don't like losing skin or getting cut. So. I don't know. If someone came along and was like, can I scrape some of your skin off for dinner? <laughs> I'd be like, oh, I guess. <laughs> I just want a little nibble, just just a tiny taste. And not, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't like that they were, you know, getting used to eating <laughs> parts of my flesh. I always wondered why that they flickered. Okay, uh -oh. shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, the, the blue it's part. Breakout. You really want to shoot the middle? Yeah, of course I want to. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, to open a, par a port, and then what you want to do? Oh, you'll have to show me. Yes, if you I have can. half the time. <laughs> you should god. be able to get there. Oh god. You should be able to get there. If the I pressure. got there. The pressure. If I got there, it should be a shoe in. But well, we're gonna show the death of that UFO no matter what the time. The graphics are awesome. The sound is awesome. The gameplay is awesome in this game. It's so so good. This is one of the games I uh had when I borrowed the Atari from my aunt uh, back in the day. A uh, great aunt. Sorry. Come on. Come on. One more. Oh! oh! I got lots of lives. So many lives. You just throw them away. Second to last level. Ah! So much pixel bird murder. Bird murder? Bird murder. I got him. Kamikaze! <laughs> okay. You shoot through the metal. Come on. You make a path. Then you go to the outside edge. Uh huh. Destroy his shield. Oh, I see. Because if you're on the outside edge, it's, he, he, he rarely shoots and you can get out of the way of it. Okay, that's good enough. And you go, boom! And I did it with still a minute to spare. Yeah, I told you it should be easy for you. <laughs> it's an awesome game. It's so, so awesome. Everything about it, like really high res gra graphics for the time. Uh, super colorful, great contrast colors like green and purple. Awesome colors together. Maybe not in real life, but in a video game, they look great. And the purple border on the bottom looks awesome. I'm not sure I, I, I'm not sure I would have valued that much if you hadn't <laughs> noticed it. But yeah, it's, yep, it's, it's, it stands it's, out. It fits, it's very bright. It fits with everything. And it's a black background, Un unlike many other early Atari games, where it's just like, ugh. Where it's like, per blue for space. It's like, okay, sure, blue for space. I get it, yeah. Super awesome. 5200 Castle Blast, early 20, 2000s homebrew. We will play some early 5200 games when I upgrade my 5200, which has taken a backseat because of projects. Okay, uh, next one's Quad Run. Uh, this is by Atari, uh, 2686, made by Frank Hausman, Mimi Naiden, and Ooh. Steve Voyota. Okay, uh, I should probably play this because it's not super easy to explain. Okay. It has goons in it. It does. I don't it's know everything about it. Okay, ah! You have a bullet, and mm -hmm. you have to catch that bullet, even after you fire on something. Oh, you bounce to the other side. How do you choose to, to uh... if you push in the direction, you go to the other side? Yes. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. What happens if you don't catch your bullet? Uh, you lose a bullet, and I think the bullets are on the bottom there. Uh -huh. I find this, like, intriguing, this uh, mechanic. It's, it's, it looks good. The mechanics are interesting. But I think it's just... It's one of those games where it's complicated just because of the controls. Mm -hmm. I think the controls... I think I'm dead. There you go. <laughs> Did not hear the voice. Oh. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't hear oh, the voice. The this has a voice in it. There's another game that has a voice in it that we're going to play today. 
it's probably not going to play the voice because it doesn't have a stable picture during the voice. So everything's going to cut out. And when everything cuts out, the audio cuts out too. Oh, I think uh -oh. I messed it. You have no bullets left. Well, the one you have. And death. <laughs> <laughs> so, cool concept. Nice. See, that's where the voice is. And it says something. I'm guessing it's Quadra. Oh, I thought that was someone on the street. <laughs> well, there is somebody on the street talking. <laughs> Ow. Oh, and they steal the bullets. Mm. That's why I died before. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I thought I saw it with, like, Core a board. negative version of your bullet. Here, I'll, I'll simulate it. Corbin. Cold one, cold one, cold one. That's what it'll sound like. <laughs> oh. Uh -oh. Maybe I can get it back if I shoot it? But I'd probably have to shoot that exact one. It's... Uh, it's okay. I don't really like the gameplay. It's overcomplicated. How do you get? You just run into the side, and that's how you go to the side? Yeah, you just run into the side, left or right. Okay, your turn. Quad run! <laughs> I feel like this is one of those games where the title came first, then they tried to fit something into it. Yeah, quad, like there's four quadrants, and you're like a ship, and like you have to catch your bullet. Nope, you lost your bullet. Lost your bullet. Oh, Mike oh. Lentow says I heard it very faintly before uh -oh. it displayed the boom count. <laughs> hmm. Oh, yeah, it did say it. It did say it. So we'll be we'll be quiet here. No, it does say it. It says it. Quarrel, quarrel, quarrel. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple games this year that have uh, digitized speech in it. Ow. Damn it. Ah! You can die really quick in this game, losing mm -hmm. all your lives. Quarrel, quarrel. I don't know what that goon's 10. I have to kill 10 of them? I think so. Ah! Oh, God! It's so easy to die. You gotta switch sides. You can't shoot behind. Ah! Oh. oh, my God. There we go. And done! Uh, not... It looks good, but it's not great. It's not It's not great gameplay. I, you can it's get... interesting, but not interesting enough to play. No, no. Next one's Mission 3000 AD by Bit Corporation, PG-207. Uh, for the next eight, I have no idea who made them. Now this is interesting. Try the button. Yeah, the, bu or the controller's doing something. It's changing the star field. This, okay, you shoot those big blobs, that one that you just flew away from. Mm -hmm. That's your objective. All right. Shoot them. This is, oh, this I is see. Bosconian. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say like, it seems... it's Bosconian. I, I, I can't believe it. it's it's a terrible version of Bosconian. So you've got the radar down below, tells you where the bases are, and you shoot them. That's that's it. Was this an Atari Age uh, magazine exclusive? Oh, the quad run. Maybe. Oh, you got two more to go. No! Oh, still have two lives. You can do it! You ran into it. That's right. Uh, the movement is a bit janky. Yay! Woo! Level two! <laughs> the enemies are a bit janky. <laughs> like, they don't really move the way you would think they move when you fly towards them and away from them. Yeah. I mean, Draconian is like a trillion times better than this. Like, 
unbelievably better. But, you know, it's it's not terrible. It's it it's something it's something. Sinistar like. Well, yeah. Well, the big enemy, you're not collecting anything out there, so I would say a more boss. More Bosconian. Atari, I know you're looking at me. I am not the internet. Why am I starting on... Atari's looking at me like... Why aren't you the internet? Why have I now heard that thing? Or why are you not feeding me snacks right now? Uh, yeah, he's looking at you. No, he's looking right at me. Well, he thinks you trigger it. That's not me. It's not us. We don't it's do not it. Anybody. We had, We don't decide this. It's not our job. We have nothing to do with it, in fact. <laughs> it's three times. Oh, oh, there we go! Somebody got the hint from the kitty! Uh, okay, I'll play this out, and uh, you can show the kitties. There's the kitties. Oh! Sprite got one. Almost out of snacks here. I know. Don't, don't, uh, only give them about half of what's in there so that there can be another treat time. Because there's definitely enough time for another treat time. Did he hit the bell? I, uh, I haven't been watching. You gotta watch those cats. It's, this game is okay. The enemies are a bit weird the way they fly. Like, as soon as you turn around, they fly into you. You hit the bell, you gotta make the noise. Very defender-like movement. Oh you gotta hit, make God. the noise, buddy. Make the noise. Make the noise. See, it's got it's make got red noise. alert too, so it is definitely based off of Balscony, hundred percent. Wait, wait. There you go. Doesn't have all the things like Balscony does. Doesn't have the missiles. Oh, you see two ships together. I mean, it's not it's not terrible. Oh, is it over? It's over. Yeah, we're running out of treats. We got to order some more, so it's it's gonna be. So who ordered treat time? Mike Latow. Thank you, Mike Latow, for feeding little kittens. I guess you can continue, actually. Oh, look at how many lives you get. Very generous. Yeah, the enemy movements are weird. I don't know how they programmed them so weird. And why do I turn gray when I'm going left? Like, that's mm. super weird. It's just some weirdness going on. Hey, you change shape depending on the direction you're pointing. Um, yeah, down is different and oh, up is different. Only slightly. I mean, it's hard to... Um, we'll go up. Yeah, up and down. Yeah. Well, you know what, ma what makes it... What exaggerates it? Uh, the jankiness sometimes is it stretches the fact it out. that you flip. You're not rotating, you're flipping. Oh, that, yeah. It's okay. Next one, Mr. Postman. I'm not gonna put a tick beside that. Even though I like the original game a lot, one of my favorite games. Okay, what's the my next one? I see Journey Escape. Yes, you what's do. What's the next one? Uh, Mr. Postman. Okay. Avoid the bird droppings. Go to the right, climb up, all the way to the top. Avoid the bird shootings. And then once you're at the top, you have to swing onto the swinger thing. When it gets to you. Jump. Now fall, uh, land on the bird. No, that didn't happen. Gotta do it again. Hey, uh, that bird was, that poopy was hanging in the air. <laughs> it's a I delayed do, poop. I do like that I look convincingly like a teddy bear. Yeah, yeah. Very teddy bear like. I think it's, it's over turn. for you. <laughs> I'm really good at it. <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to beat me. <laughs> there are three different screens of levels. You're a good kid. You're a good kid. You hit that bell. Oh real my good. god. A lot of bullets coming out from that bird. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, I made it! Oh, I'm gonna have to wait for the next... Nope, 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 nope! Oh, I almost got it! You do die when you fall. Yep. From a great height. 
The vine is really nice, at least, says Phaser Cat. It is a very nice vine. Is it? I, what makes it nice? Uh, it's smooth moving. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it, yeah, it's yeah. got a lot of angles. Mm. Right? It's mm -hmm. not just chunky. It's got three or something weird like that. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, bollocks. The um, colors at the top are a bit uh, sketch. Um, the green on the bottom's fine. Brown beneath it is, you know, dirt. The main character is a bit weird looking. Bird achieved! Level two, letter ROM. Given that you lose a life when you fall, it's oh curious that your goal is to jump far enough that you suicide on the bird. Okay. You have to shoot the bird at the top. It's a very anti-bird. I'm, I'm getting a very anti-bird message here. Oh my god. Do I have one more left? Please? No! <laughs> well, I show this level. I can do it. One He's minute fifty-three. Oh, he loves you. <laughs> oh god damn it! No! That's what I do for. That's what I get for staying too close. To and you don't have time to do your rage quit. In fact, you might need to rage quit. Rage <laughs> reset. I can't because there's a kitten leaning against me. Yeah. Just to get a little bit of a leg up. Oh, come on. There really is an insane amount of aggression coming out of this bird. That's why he needs to go. He needs a good clubbing. That's right. He <laughs> is no good for society. He's antisocial. And uh, needs to be trod upon from a vine. Luckily, the, de the detection of you hitting the vine is like, if you touch it, you're good. Mm-hmm. Unlike it's like some games, like oh, you have to hit the exact end pixel of the vine mm. with your exact your front foot, but not too much of your front foot. Oh my god, I played so many games like that in the eighties. I hate pixel perfect games. Like, can I have a little bit of leeway, especially with ladders? Oh my god, you have to be perfect on that ladder. <laughs> Absolute perfect. There's no leeway for you. So you have to shoot all the, the drop dropping bird turds, I'm guessing, again. Or snowflakes. It's too many for one bird to put out. Avoid the vines, this I, one. Th I thought this was like reverse uh, missile command or... Oh, it does look like it, doesn't yeah. it? Ooh, that was close. Okay. Next level. Eight seconds. That's a lot of bird turds. That is a lot of bird turds. I'm going to storm What is auto fire? I'm going to stay with the auto fire. Oh, that's it. No, time's I up. want to finish this. No, nope, time's up. Time's up. <laughs> uh, next one is Open Sesame, which also has voice. That game is... Uh-oh. Oh, you're holding the joystick in a direction when I turned it on. Stop Maybe. It. Maybe. Stop I don't it. know. I don't recall having done so, but... I blame you. Take word for... What is the next one? Open Sesame. Made also by Bit Corporation. This one's PG-204. Last one's PG-209. Open Sesame. Okay, you go over the dots, press the button, it builds a ladder. You can go up and down those ladders. You have to build all the ladders. Do not touch the bouncing block or the dancing bears with tutus. So how do, what do I, I just, I'm dead and it's just taking a long time for me to find out? Yep, okay. you are. So, oh, maybe you are supposed to get that thing. Anyway. Yeah, build all the ladders, don't watch the direction the dancing tutu bears are going in and avoid them. Remember, the ladders only build up. So, yeah, yeah, hide from them. Try and get past them if you can. There you go. Build the ladder. Why is it walking like that, Victor Cat Game says. And he appears to be wearing um, flare jeans, like big wide leg uh, bell-bottom jeans. And they're yellow jeans. <laughs> He, he has walking difficulties, but if you were wearing, you know, big boots like he is. Wahoo! Party time for kittens. Oh, somebody hasn't triggered that in a long time. Very smart. Very smart. What is that? It's party time for kittens. 
Party time for kittens. Let's see if uh, let's see if Sprite see if he cares has, about that. Uh, yeah, he hasn't so Seems far. Seems interested now. Party time for kittens. Can you smell that? Oh, he's so scared of it. Let's give a little bit more. Thank you, ah! Colonel Lama. Kitty uppers time. Okay. We're going to transition away from this for a little bit so you can see Mr. Roly Poly get all high here. What happens now? Uh, you go to the top. Oh, you haven't done them all. You still have one more. Oh, okay. Oh, over, sure. Uh, this one. Uh... It's your turn now. Oh! Ah. Watch the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. So you're supposed to get that thing or not? It seems to be... Because you, uh, you got it you white, and then you... Can, oh, white is good. Yeah, so right. I think that's what happened with it. He's not rolling around yet. Still eating. Sprite is observing. He's not, he is not uh, unaware that this is something. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. But that was the thing you want. Uh, it wasn't white. Yeah, because of the coloring, it turns purple because oh. of the, everything is. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking, my home is being destroyed, destroyed by seven cats and one rabbit. What I'd really like to see on my TV is now more cats. More cats. <laughs> So you can, you're saying I can touch that anytime? I'm saying I don't know anything about this game, and I will make <laughs> no promises whatsoever. Well, he's not going crazy yet. But so it I'm seems to back. me that the color change happened because it went up into the purple zone. Oh, uh, yeah. And it was just like the background color that everything is at that level. Yes. See? That's true. Oh, I'm guessing that's made by the ball. Oh, it's game over. You have 46 seconds to play. Oh, now he's rolling around a bit. Let's go to last 38 seconds with the cat. Oh. Bad oh. catnip. No, he's he's getting into it. Just took him a bit. He hasn't had it in a long time. There he goes. Roly poly. Hi. Hi. Hi, you happy? He's so happy. Are you controlling the cats with the joystick? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I control the black cat. And Darcy controls the gray cat. So press the button for get him to eat the catnip. Okay, come on. Black joystick. Black cat, come on. Come on, Sprite, get it. Oh, I missed it. Gray cat got it. Okay. <laughs> Next one is uh, Snail Against Squirrel. Uh oh, I see. A very terrible game. This one is very terrible. It's what against squirrel? S Snail, Snail against okay. squirrel. Spam! Oh, uh, I have to do it over here. It's so annoying. I mean, it's almost pointless. But that's, that's cats. He's talking about cats. Oh. It's not spam. Where's the spam? I don't see. I don't know. No, I don't know. I want to spam. Okay, you have to get the nuts falling from the trees on the bottom. Oh, you missed it. Go to the left. And then you have to deliver them up to the top. That's it. And avoid the snails. Oh, there you go. It's an exceptionally... Can I carry more than one nut? I don't know. Thrust spammed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you spammed with the word spam? Yay, you delivered a nut to the top of the screen while avoiding snails. I am guessing this is a kid's game. Because it's really slow. It's so good. <laughs> uh, also made by Bit Corporation, PG208. Oh, the last... Uh, oh. The last game. Open Sesame. 
was also called Apples and Dolls, I Want My Mummy, and Teddy Apple. What happened? I don't know, something. Timer? I assume a timer happened. Not the one that matters most. It's your turn. Button does nothing, I think. Oh, Button gets the... Props to the game for having slopes is and stairs. Is that Mr. Yeah. Postman sprite? He is. He's just, he's all wobbly. Like going, walking sideways. And just they've just like changed the color a little bit. Oh, yeah, Look yeah. At this it's, a, it's a teddy bear. Jankiness. It's like the teddy bear. Yep. Oh, that's so funny. They tricked me. <laughs> How come I have only four dots? It's because I picked up one? I have to what? deliver for them? No, I just lost one. They're falling to the ground and I'm losing lives. Oh. So do I have to collect them? I wait down here to collect them? See, there's another know. one. Yeah. I'm going to try and get two. This is a good idea. Those trees are very short. Very short. They could have... Oh, I dropped... No, so I can only carry one at a time. Oh, my God. And, and you're dropping both. Yeah. Okay, how do you... <laughs> What? Well, you have another minute and 50 seconds to so figure do I have it out. To, so do I have to put, like, catch them and then put them on the ground? I don't think so. I think you're just... No. Nope. No. No, they disappear after a bit. I can't make it to the top and back and get all the nuts. Have you tried pressing the button? It just drops. It just drops it, wherever you are. <laughs> See, I'm going to die in a second because it's there's another It's supposed to be a nut. squirrel. Yeah, it is. Yay! But I ran out of lives! Oh my god. But that was a celebration. Does 2600 support mice? Uh, no, it's a joke. Question, does Atari 2600... Question, does Atari 2600 support mice? Answer, er... I think it does. Cause, are you not getting that it's a joke? <laughs> Where's the mouse? That's on the screen. Squirrel. I know, but it it's looks like a mouse. It's a squirrel. <laughs> it's, does it look like convincingly like a squirrel, it, or are we just being silly? It like, looks more like a mouse. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 43 seconds. I'm Are going... you building a toilet up there? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> the last one was Mr... Uh, no. The last one was Open Sesame. Yeah, Mr. Postman was the one with the teddy bear that was yes. at hate for um, birds. birds. That was the bird one. Yep. <laughs> I don't get this game. You if you run it. into the, the snails, you die. Try and run into a snail. I already you're... did on the first time. Oh, and you died? I okay. did indeed die. Like, what is going on? Anyway, we'll never find out. Next! Is Assault! Made by the company called Bomb. Uh, CA2801. It's a shooter. You can shoot up. You can shoot left. You can shoot right. Shoot the things. Shoot all the things. I'm not doing anything. Oh. You're not? No. Oh. There we go. It's in demo mode. Go nuts on demo mode. The graphics are really good. But I suspect those graphics look very stolen of those crabby, crabby-like things. From, um... Uh-oh. Uh oh Did he make it to the bottom? Is that why he died? Oh! Yay! Next level. Yeah, very nice graphics. Oh, what happened? Did you get shot? Yeah, the bullets are quite fast. They're like lightning bolts. <laughs> So I guess, oh my god. You it's can't. like a timing thing. I think they shoot. Oh. You just have to know when they're shooting. Yeah, they're like literally instantaneous. Ready? Yep. For some reason, this game thought it would be a good idea to make up fire. Yeah. <laughs> and not the button. You know what the button uh, does? But you, 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 it fires. It left lets you and fire right. to left and right. Yeah. Why? Why not make the fire the fire button? 
Mm -hmm. And then the fire button left and right to fire left and right. Or the fire button to fire and the direction you're pointing, the direction you shoot. Exactly. But, but that is effectively what it is with up being to shoot up. Yeah. It's assuming that you're pressing. I, would like I'm, I'm, just... I, I was also like surprised that they went with that. Those are actually some pretty good uh, monsters nice. right there. They're really nice and colorful monsters. The game. I mean, these ones. Oh my god. I these ones have right. good. These oh. ones have good colors, but are not as interesting as the previous one, which actually looks like god. like a genuinely like like this just kind of looks like moving blobs. But the previous one looked like some sort of squid or something. Yeah. I like I like that they drop things that you have to shoot left and right. Yeah. The graphics are really good. Overall gameplay, it's like oh my god, they split. Is it only the bottom one that's uh, shooting? Yeah, it is. So if I avoid the bottom one and just shoot the top ones, that's probably a better tactic. Uh oh. Something's like going nuts. Timer. There's a timer? It's going up. Uh, also, your oh. bullets are in are interesting. Your bullets start small, and then as they go up, they kind of like stretch out or something, or go faster. They? Oh, they do. They kind of get faster, and then they get bigger. Yeah. Does the timer reset when you shoot the bottom guy? Thrust says uh, laser overheated. What? Sorry, does what reset? Oh, it's a laser. Never mind. I was shooting constantly. It's overheated laser. I'm just gonna shoot. Well, it's hard not to shoot the bottom guy. So yeah, it's better to shoot not the bottom guy. See, these, guy. these monsters, tell me these monsters aren't the best ones. They're like asymmetrical. They're really good. I don't know if they are asymmetrical, but they look like it to my eyes. They are. One leg kind of shoots out a little One goes bit more. further and it really, it really makes them like convincing like something not just graphics yeah, like, yeah. Oh, okay it's 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 got some it's got a look to it okay now I know it a bit played a bit better and also if you're not shooting the bottom if you're not shooting the bottom guy you're you're far away from it which gives how come I can't shoot left and right I don't know it's very angering <laughs> isn't it <laughs> it is Reset. I won't get to that high level though unfortunately is it unfortunate? <laughs> Think of the upside. Yeah, I kind of like this game, actually. Well, you can play it again, I think. <laughs> I, I believe you have it on yeah. hand. I do have it available, yeah. Uh, is it a great shooter? Don't know yet. I have to get to a higher level. That's it! That's it for you! <laughs> Uh, next one is a Great Escape by Bomb. Looks fine, but what does it offer that other 2600 shooters don't do better? Left and right shooting. Okay, so you're wandering around, uh, you shoot the things, they're on your radar, uh, you can turn around. It's Bosconian. Kind of. Oh, avoid no. that guy. I don't know that I'm playing. You may not be playing. <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't. Okay. Yeah, bomb has demo mode immediately. So you can either shoot or move. When you hold the button, you're shooting. When you're not holding the button, you're moving. Uh, this is uh, CA-282. It's kind of boss gunning. But you control the direction that you shoot. Yes, which makes it more complicated to with controls, but more I, flexible. I would. I. I actually. I'm not sure that I think it's Bosconian really, but at first I did. Oh. Uh oh. I think you have to avoid it, like you heard on the radar, and you have to run away. That's what I read in the manual. But I have no controls right now, anyways. No, because you saw it and you died from fright oh i see like he was on the radar and i foolishly 
So if you hear it, look at your radar and run the other way. Oh, there it is. It's on the right. Run to the left. There you go. Nice. You're far away now. Oh. Your turn. You turn your butt. Oh. Can you reset for me, please? Yep. Not couch compliant. <laughs> if only they cared about such things in 1983. They did not. They expect. Hey, they expected you to have your Atari right next to you, just, just like now. Go. Thirty-nine, thirty-nine. <laughs> ah! Evil Auto in space. Yes. Oh, I was holding oh. the button. <laughs> I ran into it instead of firing at it. RC70 says the death screen looks really cool reflected in the signs behind you for this game. Oh, lots of flashing. Yeah. Oh, where is he? Ah! He's coming. No, no, I'm running! Ah! Run quicker! So that middle block is what you see. Like, yeah. It's a little bit thicker, so it's yeah. it can get really close. You actually really can fast. see a lot yeah. of what's on the map. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can tell we both really like this one. It's it's okay. Uh oh, I immediately oh. died. <laughs> Is it like game over? Game over? No. <laughs> just... But I'm I'm afraid you won't get another chance to try it if you probably don't try not. now. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Very long death screen. Yep. Some might say tedious. <laughs> so you really do have to pay attention to the sound. Well, I'll pay attention to the map. Okay. You tell me if he's left right. It's a different color, right? Uh, yeah. It's thing is purple. Oh. Oh, the wrong way. Go the other way. Yeah. Ah! You know oh, what don't I run into things. You know what I Actually, it's better to run into something than to get caught by it, because it doesn't take you as long to <laughs> die. That's true. That is true. <laughs> ah. Ah. You can shoot ahead of you. That's true. It's okay. permissible. I think it's actually better to just constantly shoot ahead of you until you see something on the screen. These guys are terrible shots. The next one's gonna shoot me. A turn right. Yeah, shoot ahead of you. There we go. Good. Oh! Oh! Yeah, yep. See, the next one that came up shot me immediately after I said I was. Said they were terrible shots. Run! No, no, no! He almost caught me. Okay. Figuring out how to do the shooting with and the steering combined the two is tough. It, it's tough. I mean, it's flexible, but it's tough. Okay. Um, interesting game. Not not the worst. Not the best. Wall Defender. Defend that wall. Also made by Bomb. Uh, CD285. You can flip screens by pressing left and right. Okay, this one is pretty cool, actually. Okay, you define, defend your outer wall. And you have to move around to get to the, to the guys to shoot them. And then your outer wall can take a number of hits. And it gets darker and darker. And then you lose um, one of your wall segments. And you have to move in a bit. Which actually makes it easier because you don't have to travel as far. I think it makes it easier. Oh my god, I made it to level two. You sure did. Zombie attack! Yeah, pretty much. Oh, now they're spam. Uh-oh. It's almost pointless spamming. Almost. Because they just make another login. But then they have to. I suppose they, they have do. that automated. Oh yeah, everything's automated. They probably have... The spam is automated too. Automated emails, automated spam. Oh, it's getting dark. 
Oh, they're hitting your outer wall. But I wanted to find out about what happens when you get a smaller wall and how much better Oh, move that in. Is. Move in. Oh. There okay. you go. Can't even move right now. Now you have a smaller defense. Nobody knows the trouble I've found. <laughs> well, everybody watching knows. Yeah, yeah. These people know. They get me. I think it's a really cool concept. The uh, enemies are nice looking. I think it's pretty Is well it? put together. Too. Yeah, it's fun to play. I mean, I'm not good at it, but here, you play. So I don't think, yeah, I think you're gonna run out in five minutes. Oh, you can move, like you can actually move into the center, but you don't have as much range. What? Come on, that oh, went right through him. Hits. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. Oh, God. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, God. Accidentally. You can't move once you're in, though. I know. But it doesn't matter because that wall's being destroyed anyway. Yeah, yeah. Come on. There was a cake coming on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> or a candelabra. I like the big ones are easier to shoot. Ah! Oh, come on! Uh, ah! It's not bad. Oh, yeah, no, it seems yeah. cool. Yeah. Oh, who are those guys? It would. It's another game that, it's because of the it's easy. <laughs> shape, it might be more fun if it was a paddle. Ah, uh, yes. You wouldn't be able to run into the center. That would have to be automated. But and, yes. But that's fine. Yeah. Um, not a, a driving controller, so you can spin constantly around. Oh, I got a, a level back. Nice. Up. Oh. oh my God. You could just have like a little window at the bottom. That's a dead zone that nobody ever comes into, and then you have to go all the way around. Mm, yeah, that's true. The clicks and the clunks of the controller are quite satisfying. Here's some ASMR for you. <laughs> oh, did I die? You died. It didn't seem like I did, but... I don't know. 45 seconds. Do it. Do it. 39 seconds. I like clicky controllers. They're very nice. They tell you that you've actually moved in that direction, yeah. rather than a mushy pile of plastic. It's like, did I click left or right or up? Am I doing a diagonal? I didn't hear two clicks. Oh, it has auto-fire. Oh my god. So much better. Usually try that immediately. Sometimes I'm missing the enemies by just a bit, but I might have got it with the auto fire if mm -hmm. I was using it. Time's up! Time's up. I would say that's a decent game. That is a very decent game. Uh, next one is called Bobby is Going Home, which I actually find it to be a decent game as well. Uh, it's made by CCE. It is C803. Oh, I haven't been announcing the alternate names oh, for these. Apparently, that is not something you want. Nope, jump over everything. This is also called Jumping Jack. It looked Jack. like something that was going to be like good. It looked like a lamp. It does, yeah. Jumping Jack, Jackie Jack. Can you jump. get on that sailboat? No. Oh. Maybe at the end. Uh, Felix returns. Bob is going home. The last one was called, also called Wall Break, Capture, Breakdown. Uh oh. Avoid that dude. Avoid him. Avoid the birds. The birds are your enemy, if anything, we've learned today. Birds are your enemy. Yeah, nobody likes This birds. game, you can change directions mid-jump in the air. Which is very unusual for uh, ah. old games. Usually they were like, you jumped, you gotta obey physics. <gasps> That's so unfair. There's birds on the ground, there's butterflies in the air. Could you take a minute to talk about your controller? Is it better? Where did you get it? And what is your favorite controller? This is my favorite controller. It is a Bratwurst controller. You can get them. But it's the through... Brat Best! Ha 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 ha! Through uh, Bratwurst on the Atari Age forums. Um... Oh, I feel like I 
fell into the muck before I reached the muck. It is very clicky. It is the right size. No, it's, oh, I just, I'm not doing that right. It's the right size. It's got two buttons. It's your turn. It works on the Atari 7800 for the two buttons. Can you press the reset, please? Mike. I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Um, I think Retro Game Boys makes a same form factor controller. I don't... I can't speak to the... Uh, if it's better or worse than this one, uh, he does use very good components, so I'm guessing it would perform the, exactly the same. Because I think this housing is something uh, you can I get see. on so the internet. There's a timer, but it's uh, it goes up a little bit as you oh, come on. The line. Oh, it pushed me right back. Uh, it doesn't matter. You had to jump these second ones, anyways. Threading the needle. I actually like this them? game. Little fountain. Because there's a lot of things you have to do at once and pay attention to. There's things in the air. There's things on the ground. There's opening chasms. That is super awesome. Things you have to jump over. The graphics are questionable. <laughs> They're not super great. <laughs> Yeah, no, but the colors are atrocious. But things are clear. They are very clear of your what your goals are. Oh god. Um It's a Woody Woodpecker laugh theme when you jump. No, no! I don't think the bird gets you. Oh does it? yeah. Oh yeah, he flies low enough to get you. But oh, it's my dog! Oh, it only intersects your hat. Bike. Maybe your hat doesn't count. Uh I think it does. Might. Might. I'm not willing to take You're not going to complete this game. You could you could take the risk for the sake of... No. No? No. Oh! Oh! I'm home! Look at the, the wonkiness. Did I make it? I made it home! Made it I took Bobby home. Okay. Yep. Nice tune. Skip, please. Skip the dialogue. They don't know that you only have five minutes. Skip the dialogue. There we go. Bobby is home. Bobby is home. Uh-oh. Bobby's about to go splat. Oh, mistimed. Do -do 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 -do. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, what do I have to do with this one? I think you have to jump. I think you have to wait till it's going out and follow it out. Right. Well, that's what I been, have been doing. Oh, my lives. Or you have to jump. My Leben. You have to jump when it's coming in. It's coming in. Okay. <laughs> nope. No, and it wasn't coming timer. in. I mean, you have to wait until it's like just... Oh, Bobby's going yeah. home! Okay, next one is Berenstain Bears. And we actually cannot play it because we need a cassette uh, device. Bratwurst. Bratwurst. Like, like the sausage. Yeah, Bratwurst. I mean, it's not easy B -R -A -W -T? to spell. B-R-A-W-T? Yes. B-R-A-W-T-W-R-S-T. If somebody could type w that W... W-R-S-T. Worst. W-U-R-S-T. W-U. What did I say? W-R... Yeah, there we it. go. There we go. Bratwurst. Uh, so I'm going to have to play a video uh -oh. for Berenstain Bears. No, oh, no, no. okay. This is special. It's special. Special. Very special. Okay. Let's make that full. <laughs> that would be high. <laughs> uh, now this is uh, going to be really short. Because it was the only video I could find of Berenstain Bears on the internet being played is the angry video game nerd playing it. So there's going to be shots of his face. But um, So there you are. And you have to catch numbers. It's a kid's game. Um, and there's three tapes that you get with it because you have to play these games. There's the three tapes, cassette tapes, and you plug the cassette tapes into joystick port two and it makes tones 
to start the game. <laughs> um, and you have to catch letters as well. He's dismayed by it, obviously. <laughs> oh, you have to spell things? I guess he has to spell red. There you go. So there's the three games. <laughs> He's not liking it. He's very upset about it. He has several pens. <laughs> he has many pens. Many pens. Uh, Thrust is very happy to have no kid vid. I I'm not particularly uh, uh, motivated to get one based on the games you can play with it. The other one is a Smurf game, which we'll encounter later on. There's a random dude. I don't know who that is. <laughs> and Bella Lugosi. <laughs> and a 1950s actor. Do you know his name? I know that the he gets Falcon. slapped and he has to like it. When, when he is slapped, he takes it and he you likes it. You take it. You like it. You and take then he goes it and you like it. On to other uh, games that we're not playing because those are for the Genesis. And he talks about the spellings of Berenstain. So that is it. That was made by Coleco. Uh, 2658. You need the kid voice module if you want to play that game. You probably don't because you just saw all the gameplay. Oh, so we don't have to play is. it? No, we don't have to play it. Darcy's happy? Yay! <laughs> Next one is Journey Escape. It's, we experienced it. It's definitely better than Berenstain Bears. I actually have the cartridge. There's Journey Escape. It's kind of... kind of gnarly. Kind of gnarled. And it is uh, based off the band Journey. Okay, that looks cool. Oh, okay, let's start at the beginning. Don't press anything. To reset the counter. It has Journey music, so hopefully we don't get uh, slapped down for it. Okay, the rules are avoid everything except for the robots and the Kool-Aid man looking dude. Okay, press the button. Or not. Avoid! How? Nope, don't test them. So you start off with $50,000. There's shifty promoters. There's uh, photographers. And there are fans. And you have to avoid those fans, which are the love. Yeah. The love things. Avoid the gates, too. And those are uh, uh, naysayers, I guess? Uh, the guys, uh, the gates? Uh, I don't the know. guys with the hats, they're all like, oh. we don't like you. Shifty promoters. So you have to press up. Oh, I... You have to get to your van. You have to move faster. Oh, I see. And you have to get robots, which we haven't seen any good things yet on the screen. Oh, they're ah. stealing your money. Those things, get those guys. Oh, you missed the robots. It's a pretty one-node game. So you have to get all five members of the band to the van. Oh, you're going to run out of time. That's so it. I don't have to get them to the band. There's the a, band. What was the band. qualifier? If I don't, the world continues to spin. But what, <laughs> the concert does. doesn't happen? The concert doesn't happen. <laughs> don't avoid the space car. Oh, the space car? Okay. Yeah. So reset. Okay. Let's see if we can finish the level. So you get a bit of reprieve there. Not much. What does it mean? Uh, you're invincible. Invincible, because of robots. Oh, there, you get more invincibility oh. with the Kool-Aid. I thought maybe he was one of your band members. Oh, I oh. can't... What? You're invulnerable to robots. I, I, or maybe it's resetting it. No, they disappear when you get them. This is a really good uh, bonus. Oh my god. I don't understand why is there music. If, are you getting a bonus? Yep. So uh, what's the bonus? I just don't get hurt. So why are you dodging things? Because uh, it could stop at any time. So I made uh. it to the car. The space car. Yay! Now they're going sideways, which is a lot harder. I might be able to complete this level. I should be able to. Uh, uh, Oh, our friend, so our friend that uh, our you. friend Dean had this game, so I did play this in the '80s. I found it amusing back then, <laughs> not great, but it was like okay, it's a game. 
Not a great game, but a game. It had things to do. It was a game, and you played it. It had a star field. <laughs> yeah, and, it had a nice uh, star field. The characters look okay. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Run, 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 run! Oh, we another one! Woo! Oh. Two members of the band. I've got seventy-one thousand dollars too. Oh! You start off with fifty, so that's probably pretty good. Well, do you start off with fifty each? Uh, no. It looks like it goes up and down cumulatively. So it's a shared band amount. So you only get one fifth of that afterwards. Yeah, you're down to sixty-six. That's not good. You're donating money to your fans. Yeah. Well. You gotta do what you gotta do. Ah! Ah, they're stealing! They're getting in my wallet! Ah! No, I think what the, the fans, it's that there's like a... I don't <laughs> think they're stealing from you. No? I think they cost you money, but I don't think it's by stealing from you. Like delaying me by me not making money. Yeah. And just living costs money. Because so. they want signatures for ah. free? I don't know. And it, it reduces the value of your signature. Uh... It does. If you never give out signatures, your one signature is worth a lot. If you give them out willy-nilly to every fan that you come across... That was your biggest fan. That was. Oh, a big robot. Yeah. Oh, it lasted a little bit longer. I don't think it lasted any longer. So I don't know anything about the band Journey, other than I can recognize their songs and probably not be able to attribute them to Journey. If I hear their songs, do you know any Journey songs? I don't know. I'm sure that I do, but I don't yeah. know the songs that I know. Like, <laughs> in this game, they're playing a Journey a song, but I don't know. I don't recognize it. What's the chat saying? Do they know about Journey? Uh, don't Stop Believing? Yep, that is a Journey song. Yay! I think that's the fourth guy. Kool Aid Man, Invincible for Whole Level. That's oh, what really? Game says. Oh, okay. Then I can just keep running them. And Metal Lunar says uh, they know a few of their songs. Oh, no, that's this it. Is time's the last up. Guy. No, time is up. <laughs> you do not make it. <laughs> Maybe we'll just delay till you make it. No, I'm going back the other way then. <laughs> okay. Come on, move along. Move next, along. Next one is not going to be possible for us to play. Oh, that's two in a row. Two and a hop skip between them. The next two are going to be sort of impossible to play. What are we playing? What is it? Uh, video Jogger. Oh my goodness. We'll, we'll figure it out, but... It's... Video Jogger and uh, there's a video reflex? Yes. Okay, you got... Uh, actually, I have to preface this. Well, I'll show it in between this one and the next one. Okay, you got to move around the track. The controls are going to be nonsensical. Uh, but you'll figure it out. And you can, like, skip to the next track to avoid the ball. Oh, almost. There you go. There you go. Oh, keep running. Oh, no. Okay, your turn. Because <laughs> this is, like, made with... Ah! Oh, my God. It's made with what? Bile uh, and hatred? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, to move forward is down. Oh. Oh, up. Up, down, up, down. That's what it is. Oh. Because you're jogging, right? Okay, sure. Why is it unplayable then? If only I'd known that, I might have been able to, to jog. Because you're like running on two of the dots of the of the the power pad, let's say. Uh, like like the NES has a has a power pad. So yeah, but this is Atari. Ah. And then you switch tracks. That's what I'm guessing is. Is it that? Oh, they're neck and neck. I can't pass them. They're I think neck. it's white you can pass them. Or green. Oh, I got points. Oh, you can only go so fast anyway. <laughs> I never knew that Atari had a power pad before researching this game. <laughs> Broward says two stick versions of those controllers available. Really? Uh, two twin sticks? I didn't know he had a twin stick. Interesting. Why would you use a list. twin stick? Just because there are some games where you can do that? I mean, I already have That's cool, one. but... Yeah, like Robotron, where you one is fire and one is move. Um, I have an Ed Ladin as well, which is awesome. 
Do you That's... know what you're doing right now? I Are guess I won. Anything? Oh, I see. So what is this game called? Video, Video jogger. jogger. It's for exercising. Oh, yeah, yeah, I believe it. I can see that. You just okay. passed green. Okay, so you can pass green and white, but not orange. Should be red, but... So you have to wait. Or you can switch tracks. Go past the green guy. Oh! There we go. Oh, look, screen shake. Earthquake! But the amount... Oh, okay, so in the bottom oh. is counting both tracks together. And oh. each track has its own separate oh, count. Okay. It's basically how Activision Decathlon plays, oddly enough. I don't know. A jogging game that is couch compliant. <laughs> it is. You might need a joystick after playing this. You might need a new joystick. I should have used a, a garbage joystick. So the timer stops, but what is the timer in the middle signal? That's this. The one at the top is the top one. The one in the middle is the bottom one, and the, the <laughs> timer on the bottom is both together. Oh, okay, okay. So like, there's probably there. I'm sure that there's the fact that they track them separately suggests that there's some value to using both, yeah. or some significance to using both. Because you want to keep moving, and I guess that. Almost all times, there's a way to pass through uh, each of the dots. Like, one is always green, or one is always ahead of the other. Because it's not just straight jogging. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of gaming involved, right? Oh, can pass on. Oh, this is tiring. You have only a few seconds left. Thank goodness. Come on, seconds. Okay. Yeah, distance, not time. But yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna take a look at uh, what this was all about. This, what this pad looked like, just quickly, because it's just a pad. Come on, get away. Because uh, somebody was selling one in 2018 on the Atari Age forums. Uh, here's my Exus Foot Craze controller and both original games. So, there's the one we just played, Video Jogger. Oh. Came in a massive box. There's Video Reflex, the one we're going to play in a second. There they are. There's Dad in his tracksuit, and everybody's waiting their turn. Actually, he's not in his, uh, his he's not ready for it. But yeah, he's mom just, is. he's instructing them. He doesn't have to do you anything gotta, exciting. He's, you gotta move like this. Um, <laughs> so, he got the instructions, and there's the back of them. And there's the box, all the sides. This one's in pretty good condition. Pretty good. There's the mat. There's the mat. Oh, See? it's like... Plugs into joystick port one. It looks one. like one of those dance... Yeah, DDR mats. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's got some Velcro. Oh, Velcro to hold in place. That's, that was Smart. sneaking ahead. Because I think ahead. we got a Wii mat, and it just slid all over the place. It was terrible. Look, yeah. back in 83, they, they knew how to do it. Yeah, they had That's some Velcro way. that presumably would stick to your carpet. Your shag carpeting, yeah. <laughs> so there, you could have bought this. Uh, you know the crazy thing about ago? shag carpet is in the '80s we thought that was so old and gross, but it wasn't that old at the time. <laughs> <laughs> nope, doesn't say how much. I guess he was just make me an offer. Open for offers. Bump, free bump. Box is insanely rare. The whole set is easily worth fifteen hundred dollars. No, thank you. That's probably it cost fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably why nobody bought it, because the games are terrible, and it's really expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to play the second game. All right. <laughs> Video Reflex. If you could load that up. The clicky sound isn't so satisfying for these type of games. No, go to the right. Click to the right. There you go. Oh, I didn't know that you could do that. Yep, you can. Why did you wait till now to tell me that? Uh, I did a couple games ago. What you want to say? Okay, this is going to be much harder. No, you, you get penalized for wrong, wrong. Oh movements. no! I'm not going to win this game that you said we probably can't play. Yeah. How how hurtful <laughs> to my soul. So, hey, hush it for a second. Hush it. Hush it. <laughs> you have to step step on the bugs. 
Okay, step on them, show me how. Uh, oh, and the, look at what you're doing. Oh, it, so you just played the running <laughs> game and it's me that did something to you at the controller? You're insane. Okay, so, oh my goodness. Oh, I gotta step on. Yeah, it's nothing on that pad. Um, the butterflies? <laughs> so right, left is middle. Bottom right is the button. <laughs> to Darcy seems pretty impressed today. <laughs> How come I'm not? Maybe I'm not stepping on the right bugs. Maybe it's the one with the feet. Oh, yep, it's the one ah. with the feet. So up is up, upper left. Yeah, don't step on the butterflies. Step on the ones with the... We're not gonna play this for very long, so I'm letting it just count down. Two, one. Uh, so is that one? Does it oh, I got it. Oh, okay. Oh, I have to get, yep. That one's in the bottom. That one's in the, no, is that up? Damn it, I missed it. Got it. Got it. Damn it. Ah, I missed it. So you squish a bug and then you... You don't squish, you can't miss them either. So those are both bugs. Yeah, the ones oh, with okay. the legs. Oh. It's it's not a great game, but with a with a dance mat, I guess it's it'd be much better. It would be like novel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I really like the idea of novel, you know, interfaces what? and what have you. Oh, thrust in your your German keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is that? Is that oh, an H? That's it. Time's up. No, it's a how how do you pronounce that letter? It's like a double S. Like is it, it, I thought it was a like B. Two, two like S's B. combined to make a B. So you, you in like the word street Strauss, the two S's become a B. Ah. I only know that much about German. <laughs> and that's all I know. Don't ask me anything more. S Z Z Z Z. Okay. Uh, next one is Pack Kong, also known as Inca Gold, which I actually have. That is probably my rarest cartridge. I might have one more rarer than that. This is where... So which one? Oh, we're playing that one. Okay. Yep. Uh, and this is Ink and Gold? This cartridge is worth about $100, uh, as far as I can tell. Oh. It's made by Fun Vision. It's also known as Inca Gold, Spider Maze, Pack Kong, and Spider Monster. Uh, get to the top. I think that's... Oh. I think you can do a pretty long lead off of the platform before you crash. Yeah, you kind of jump ahead. Uh-oh. Not that no. time. <laughs> the first no. time it's... The that first time it really either. seemed like it launched me like... Like whack-a-mole with your feet. Like yeah, there, exactly. it launched me a long way. It did. Uh, oh, the flickering diamond got you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the flickering diamond has been the thing murdering me. <laughs> but, well, I guess no. I've fallen off the thing a bunch of times. Like, there, it made me jump. For, ooh, Whoa. Ooh. Can you duck? I'm guessing you can't duck. Reset, please. Pain vision. Pain vision. Yeah, this is brought to you in pain, full glory pain vision. Is that giant bug at the top there the whole time? Yep. Yeah, okay. I'm far too worried about the uh, diamond, the murder diamonds. Oh god. Blood oh, diamonds. Mur murder diamonds. Ah! Ah! Oh, come on! Oh, I, did, but, uh, I didn't even. Oh, did it appear? No? My, no, my foot landed on it. On what? On the ledge. Oh, oh you fell. I think oh, okay. I fell, unless there was a diamond that appeared all of a sudden. It might have been, actually. The diamonds did seem to appear there. That is a danger, being at the top. I don't know, they seem to appear in the middle, actually. Oh. At the beginning of the map, they appear in the middle. Oh, yeah, both of them appeared in the middle there. Oh my god, that's a very large gap. Oh, 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 bu bugs. Several. Danger, I'm in the middle. 
Yes. So you're afraid of the little bugs that come down, but the big one up there is your friend. Yeah, you rescue, go rescue the big bug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay, it's the same map. A little bit different. Oh, it's, it's different. Ah. Uh oh. Ah, what? Come after me. It, lo it looks like a weta. Weta. You know what I'm talking about? No. It's like, like in New Zealand, they have these big cricket looking things, and they're like really big. And apparently they're um, sea words. Oh, is that what uh, Peter Jackson's company is named after? Oh, well, could be. Because his company's named Weta. Ah. Uh. Or at least his. Um, no, his. Um, I think it's something else, but uh, his graphics division. Oh come on. I mean, that's, his that's company's me. name is Wingnut. But. Uh, oh. Come Can you on. jump them? Uh, I'm guessing you I mean, can. I think but... you're you're in a downward spiral here with the uh, things chasing you. And well, I do have a time cornering you. Uh, uh, it's gonna try. Ah, ah! Jump! you're gonna have to jump it. No, you can't. No chance. No chance. <laughs> this is a bad game. Is it? It's not. It's not good. It's not a good game. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's. I would game. say I would say it's terrible. It you can play it. It has playability. It's not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get thirty seconds of pain. But pain. the um. The yeah, the graphics are like the ladders are are um. I don't know what killed me there. I seem to land the jump and then I died. <laughs> That's what happened to me once. Like you can like you touch it with your toe and you're like, nah, I fell off. Cafe Man 2D says, video game crash, likelihood now 55% greater at this point in 1983. The twin sticks uh -oh. are officially sold out. Oh no, I'm glad somebody asked about the controller during the episode. I would never see that post if I hadn't gone looking up the spelling. Timer! Next! Just like Donkey Kong, except worse. Okay, next one. <laughs> except worse. Gamma attack! Yeah. Different in a bad way. <laughs> if anybody missed the last episode, sorry, uh, which one you this, say this was? Gamma Attack. Okay. This oh, no, it's right cartridge was only sold in Canada through Zellers. Oh. Um, this particular one. So they're a little bit more plentiful in Canada. Not anymore, man. Shoot everything. It's a shoot everything game. It's not working? Weird. Oh. Yeah, apparently oh. it's one of those games that use joystick number part two for some s stupid reason, thinking it's on a Commodore 64. Like, wh why would they do that? What is the point? Uh, this made by Gamation. And we have a person who made it. Oh, uh, J. Ray Detting made Journey Escape. I do like that, like, you're, you shoot on an angle and everything. It's, I don't know why that matters. Oh my god, you turned into an alien. Yeah. Can you shoot? I don't think so. Oh, Jay, can you go down and attack them? No. Nope. Nope. Can you float into space? No. Nope. Is it game over? <laughs> I think it's game over. Yeah, that might be. That's, that's the. That's not a good game over. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, am I still playing? Uh, this one by Robert ah! L. Eskin Jr. It's also known as uh, Nothing. And in the notes, I have only one copy as known to exist. I don't have time to correct that pillow. <laughs> oh, oh. It's not a great game. No. This looks like it should be made in like 1980. Maybe 81, because it's got like background playfield scrolling. But. I think also, like, note, I shoot a guy here, and if I, I get know. to the next screen, he comes across on the next screen. Here, your turn. Yeah, he, uh,. It kind of wraps around. The same guy is on the left and the right of the screen. Which yeah, implies if, that you're fighting a group of four. If the game over screen was a game in itself, that'd be interesting. But, yeah. But uh, it's weird that you just keep moving and. Yeah, it's not. It's not bad that. It's oh. not bad that when you're dead, things oh, keep no. moving. There's a bunch of games that work like that, but they usually go to screensaver mode where everything's like funky colors. Yeah, yeah. There, there, there was no value in it happening in this one, but no. But it's not like objectively bad or anything. Is this it? I shoot tanks over and over again. 
No, uh, only for two minutes. <laughs> oh, I died. Cheap chopper command. Yeah. Oh, well, their bullets are getting faster now. That's something. I do like... They're moving faster. I oh do my like... God. I already said it, but I do like that it's like everything's on an angle. It, it I makes don't know it why. It makes it satisfying that this... It, 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 like, that's how you envision a saucer coming along and... <laughs> zoom, 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 you know? Shooting ahead of the... It, yeah, 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 yeah. It's getting harder. Not. It's not getting better. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm flying so low now. Oh. I can't go any higher. Oh. Really? Yeah. You can't move at all? Nope. Oh. I can only move down, not up. Ah, I'm... Oh, as you lose lives, you go down. But I can't... Okay. At least... Yep. Yeah. Another minute of this? Ugh. This is a More bad. than a minute. This, Sorry, it's, it's more than a minute. It's a, this is a bad game. It's GAM 83. <laughs> it's GAM 83. <laughs> Auto fire? It sounds like you have auto fire, but you are not actually firing. Yeah, that's so funny. I don't know if I can just spam ground right now, because there's a slight pause after you hit somebody. Yeah, you do have auto fire until you hit somebody, though. Yeah, That's like you can just hold it. You don't even have to. You can just. Oh like, no, you can't. Uh, no, but it, it doesn't last forever. But it does. It's not a blast. It's like a beam. Yes. It does stay for like a half a second or something like that. But you can run into. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. So really, it's about just auto like spamming the button and avoiding their bullets. The thing is, it, it the thing. Not that this is helpful, but, like, it would be more interesting if you had, like, if it was, like, a phaser where it was out and you could shoot multiple. Okay, that's it. If you could shoot oh. multiple. Yes. Like, but then it's recharged or something. Kind of right? like laser blast where you're forced higher every round. Yep. Yeah, it's very terrible la laser blast, and laser blast is not fun. What's the next game? <laughs> it's, uh, now we have five PAL-only games. Okay which we have to switch to emulation for. Okay. Um, because that's the way it works. Because I can't play PAL games on an NTSC machine. So there you go. And we'll switch over to the computer. Thank you for following Losing Gumby. Hope you find it one day. Find your Gumby. Uh, okay, the first game is called you need. You want to move over a little bit? No, it's. Oh. Ah. First one's called Aliens Return. Make that full screen. Oh God, that's not good. Hope it doesn't do that when we play the game. Oh, that's why it's doing it. Okay, and go here. This game is. Oh, come on. This is fine for me. Actually, yeah, that's fine. This game is truly, truly terrible, by the way. Uh, Stella, there we go. Boom. We're playing. Okay, so I've mapped that to start, to reset, right. and that to the button. The fire button. So, uh, reset. Huh? Oh, I have to be focused on it, unfortunately. There we go. Okay. There you go. So this one is... Oh, it's cutting off. Maybe I can fix that. Okay, you're not going to be able to move for a second. Oh my god. You're ruining this game for me. <laughs> there we go. Okay. This one is called Aliens Return. So you have to go to those little pods. Not there. Oh. The little U-shaped pods. Or N-shaped, depending. What's that? Just get out of there. And press the button when you're in it. Oh, that's an alien. So you don't want that. You have to run away from it. So it did it just happen to show up as I went to that one, or is that what I should expect when I go to it? Uh, it's alien, either an alien or it's the thing you want, and, it, and the screen turns purple. Okay. Now you have to avoid those. Oh, oh, press it. Press what? Uh, go back to that one. Go, ba go back to that one. Uh huh. Press it. There should be a dot appearing somewhere that you have to go get. There. 
Oh, I see. Well, what were you doing? Press I pressed it multiple, it multiple times, times oh. and it was no. like toggling it. Yeah, you don't want to do that. So you get that piece. What do I do? Oh, oh, you had it. Press it. Oh, I gotta hold it? Oh. Uh, maybe hold it. Because you're piecing together your ship. See at the bottom, there's a piece of your ship? Yeah, holding it doesn't do it. Hmm. Yeah, this is also known as uh, Go Go Home, Go Go Home Monster, and E.T. Go Home. When I press the button, it shows the thing. Yeah. But then, when I let go, it goes away. And if I hold it, it goes, it goes away when I move too. it. Oh, weird. Okay. Hmm. How do you do it? Oh, you're going to die. That's okay. Because on the demo that I saw, yeah, they collected pieces. Uh, and then they started building bad. up their ship. Maybe you have to do them in a certain order. Oh, yeah, maybe they're in a certain order. See, that's not the part you need yet. I don't know what that does. Gives you more time? I didn't notice. Oh, you have to go get the purple piece. But I wasn't hit. What? Yeah, but it didn't work. Uh, each piece that you find is a different piece. See, that's, that's the same one. Oh, okay. But when I when I went up to these here, it doesn't do anything. Oh, nothing at all. Okay, it's nothing in there. Oh no, it's oh, working. This one over there. No, not that piece. Because the ship is like, it narrows and goes to a, a point at the ends. So you have to find the left point of it. Well, it doesn't toggle anything when I go there. Ah! <laughs> you got trapped. Ah, this, then I went. <laughs> this isn't a great first impression for the World of Pal games. <laughs> oh, oh, we're done. Time's up. Uh, okay. Next one is, you know, you just keep playing. Base, base, base attack. Also by Home Vision. This one's made by Auto Versand. Shoot the things at the bottom. Avoid their bullets. You know how to play now. Ah! Somebody saw oh, what's that game and said, "Oh, I'm gonna make the reverse Atlantis and make the reverse of it." You're the bad guys. Reverse Atlantis. Exactly, Phaser Cat. Uh, this is VCS 83113, also known as ZTAC, Cosmic Town, Skyscraper, and Laser Loop. Games in this era like to be released all over the world in different territories and name ah. them completely different. Why? I don't know. Uh, because they'd gained maturity uh, <laughs> for a certain value of maturity. Uh from knowing the Probably strategies. get that. Oh. I, I bet you have to get that, because it only appeared for a second. Go get it! Get it! Get it! No, don't get it. <laughs> Avoid it at all costs. Do not get it. Oh, you're done. <laughs> yep. You gotta press the start button. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, I died. Okay. Yeah, 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 sorry. I couldn't uh, tell. Yeah, yeah. That you're giving up. Uh, you know, I gotta give this game credit for being... Uh, like colorful like the yeah. there's a lot of color in the um the bullets and the enemy uh, yeah the and the enemies like they're is there something different going on like there's like bands of this doesn't seem like normal no it's it's normal they're all on different levels uh of height so you can put us a, a separate and oh. see that one's far from that one, so yeah. there's enough time to do a color change uh. in between. Um, it's I, I have to say that fun. that that particular bit is kind of impressive. Yep. <clears throat> Thrust says uh, it's almost all the budget went into the naming. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Oh, did I shoot the planet? Oh, you can shoot the planets. Okay. Oh, actually. Yeah, there's colors beside colors, so they're using two players for some of these. That, yeah, that's pretty good. You know, it's something. I'll give them that. Some of the designs for the 
things you're shooting are okay. They're a bit random. They're not very... like a house structure. They're very alien, let's say. Yeah, if they're trying to be alien, which I think they are, I, I think they did... I actually think they did a good job of those little yeah. bad guys. Yeah. Those planets up top are cool. Oh my god, they're shooting now. Okay. So you want to destroy them now. But I think they only shoot out... Really? Is that fair? Sorry, fair has got nothing to do with it. Oh, okay, so I... Oh my god. Also, you seem... There's a lensing effect going on that is interesting. That's bad programming. It is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Or is that just, like, because it's Hal and they're emulating it? Uh, it's somebody that probably did it... No, I'm playing in PAL. Uh, a PAL game, so that's not the issue. They just didn't know how to draw properly on the 2600. Oh. There's a lot... Not a lot of, uh... Quality control, it's funny let's say that around 83. It it's funny that I thought it was like special lensing. Like it's too bad that they didn't know they could, like, like you could use that for an underwater effect. Yeah. To great use. Yeah. God. That's what I thought it was. Was I was like, why, why does it have a lensing effect? It's cool, <laughs> but why does it have that? Because <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. They're like not changing the graphic at the right time. Okay, I just gotta get past that guy. Go for the guy that's not shooting me. And... There we go. <laughs> Look at that delicious hamburger ship. Yeah, it's got the lettuce. It's got two sli two uh, patties. Um, maybe pickles? Maybe. Lettuce. Definitely lettuce. Yeah. Okay, those are gonna turn into ships. Oh, no, they disappeared. It's okay. It needed a little something else. <coughs> like, the concept's good. I, I like the concept. I think that they need more defense. The, like, like those planets are kind of cool, because they get in your way, and also they shoot out sometimes. Time's up! It's not bad. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. But it's not like a complete disaster no in terms of what's there it's just not like you know something you want to play <laughs> next one is panda chase by home vision as well by auto versand as well and uh also known as panda quest or zoo fun uh oh okay so it's a platformer oh don't jump into the raccoon uh you pick a house uh you have to go get the dancing bamboo shoots The way you jump reminds me a lot of Batari Basic games. Like, early Batari Basic games. Oh, you missed the ledge by a little bit. And now you're stuck in the brown steps. Oh. So you can't touch the side of it. You have to only touch it by landing on it. There you go. Uh -oh. oh, you touched the side. That's very strange. Timer's gone. Oh. Uh, let's see if I can... Sorry. Sorry. Okay, Sorry. you're back. What is wrong with the timer? Oh, I know why. You'll just have to listen for the timer. Because I haven't set up the timer for this screen. Oh, oh no, I no, see. I can do it. One second. One second. Take it from the 2600. Copy. Put it on the YouTube. Paste. A reference to it, and it should be there. Should be there now. Okay, go for your platform. Not there. What the hell? Oh, no, oh, it's on there that. There we go. Yeah, now it's transition over. Okay, my turn. Okay, I like platformers. I want to play the platformer. Ah, that was unfair. Unfair. How come you ended up here? I have no idea. I like Maybe you fell went down. Up. Maybe you went up. Maybe all the green ones go to that one. Oh, maybe. Okay. So. Oh! What the hell? It's not easy. I know you guys thought it was going to get better now that James is playing. <laughs> Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Oh, uh, 
Really? Did you get the bamboo shoot? No. Oh. Oh, what? I didn't slip off that. I had lots of room. I'm not a fan of the slipping off because you touched the wall thing. Oh. <laughs> ah! Uh -oh. oh my god. Where do I go? Are you underwater? There's nowhere to go. Maybe I have to go to the left? Oh, that's just a bad area. Oh, I like this one. Lots of platforms. Oh, my god. Oh my god. Avoid the raccoons. How come I can't land on that one? Maybe I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, oh what? You were hit by the green cat. <laughs> oh, you have to move immediately. If the hit detection was better, on like, don't hit the sides of them, didn't like slam you to the ground, this would be an, an okay platformer. Yeah. It's too frustrating, uh, I think. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Yeah. Uh, how, how do I get to the platform again? Touch mm. that little green part. Come on. It's so brutal. <laughs> you can't touch the sides. There's no room. The thing is, there's lots to like. To ah! There's lots to potentially like about it. Yeah. Like the fact that there's a map and you pick different levels by it's, base. Like that's crazy. It's pretty amazing. advanced, I think. It you is. Know. An overworld. And yeah. you go in and there's multiple different levels. <gasps> oh, I hit my head because I double jumped. <gasps> uh, yeah, it is neat how uh, they mirror everything. Oh my god. This level is nothing. The raccoon's in a different spot. I'm gonna go up here instead. Okay. No, oh, but where do I go? Oh. We'll never know. That game had potential. Yeah. But it squandered it. They squandered it. Uh, next one's Parachute by uh, Home Vision. VCS 83123, also known as Skydiver. It looks self-explanatory. Is this that game that we... The homebrew? Yeah. It looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very... Very simple. Except the homebrew is a billion times better. Oh, infinitely better, yeah. Uh, watch out! Made by Muddy Funster. It is! <gasps> we know where he got his idea from. <laughs> he has been... Uh-oh. ...revealed. Oh my goodness. Except this one, you don't can't increase your speed down by pressing down. Oh, you can't? Oh, no. okay. Purple sky equals pow. One second. Does that mean it picked wrong? No, it says pal. Purple sky just equals pal in general. They love purple sky in pal land. <laughs> this one is not terrible thrust says. I mean... No, it, it's not. It does what it does, and it does it okay. Why, why are you getting so close to that balloon? You're freaking me out. Why are you so worried? What happens if I get killed? I don't know. It's freaking me out. Whoa! Now you're fast. Which is better? It is better. Yes, it is better. Birds. Oh, the enemy. Oh. oh, no. Yeah, the enemy's here. Now I am dying. Uh-oh. You start from the top? So you have to go down 15,000 meters, and you got a little bar. Actually, you made it pretty far. Bar goes down really fast. I heard that some smart coders added AI to combat. Did you try, guys try it, and is it good? I did try it. The AI is really a defeat. Like, it doesn't really know. It's not AI. It's, it's just, I don't know why somebody called it AI. It's just the computer playing, and the computer is not good. Birds. Birds. Nobody likes you, birds. But definitely check it out. Somebody made a build of it, because for some reason the um, developer didn't make a build of it available. They just showed the code. But, um... Oh, you can go faster. How? Marginally. This is me not pressing it, and this is me pressing it. Oh. It's so... Alright. That's why I didn't notice. 
And then when I was on the other map, by then I was already just in the habit of pressing down the whole time, so... Maybe you... Oh, okay. Oh, we start in the middle. Oh, it's the same as Muddy Funsters, too. The, from screen to screen, yeah, yeah. they carry over. Yeah. I gotta it changes his... what's there, but like where the things are. Yeah, changes. I, I gotta look at his whether this was an influence on him or not, because it's the, it's the same game. Maybe he's, oh my god, oh. oh my god, there's a guard at the bottom, and he's following you. I did oh, it. You made it into enemy territory. This needs a companion game where you're an air traffic controller. We played an air ca traffic controller game. Uh oh. Last episode, actually. It was. Clouds are they're moving up and down now. Oh, everything's moving up. Mm -hmm. oh, it's just constantly moving up. And at least it's not down. And not being replaced at the bottom? <laughs> it's a free for all Oh, no, here it is at the bottom. Look oh, out! it is coming! Ah! Oh, 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 apparently oh, the clouds oh. are not deadly. No, no, no. no. That was clouds. clouds be well, you're talking logic, not game. <laughs> game, true. game does not equal, like... It's true. They could have lightning. Or maybe the black parts of the clouds are deadly. Oh, God, where's this coming? Oh, 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 oh. It's yeah, this is very not uncommon for a game to have. It's a thing on the screen, stars. therefore deadly. Oh, oh. How? How? What? How? Did they appear out of nowhere, or were you just oh, not looking at the I top of the looking screen? Looking at the top of the screen. That's true. Right? Uh, yes. Oh. Oh. Cat. It's one-sided cat love. Cat tolerance. <laughs> cat love and cat tolerance. <laughs> Soon it'll be biting, and then it'll be hissing. Oh, he's, he, he just bit him. He does. On the face. So bad. I guess. Also licking him on the face, though. So that's so worried when he bites him on the face. It's like, don't get an eye in there. They're very aware of where eyes are. Yeah. The mook, when we were sleeping, if he wanted us up, he'd come over and he'd bite right here. Or here. Uh, they know where your jugular yeah. is, and they know where your <laughs> eyes are. He'd bite you like close to the sensitive spot because he really wants your attention. I think Daredevil... <laughs> that is a very controversial take, Mike Littell. No, Daredevil destroys this. De destroys it. Uh, so I'm glad he redid that game because it, it's a good game. Yeah. I wonder if Difficulty switches mute that music. <laughs> uh, next yeah, one. Yeah, Difficulty, you put the Difficulty up and you get music. Is Wing War oh. by Imagic. Uh, also known as Flap, made by Michael Green. Okay, so your dragon. Is this like Joust? Uh, it feels like Joust. So you got to attack other dragons, shoot them, then take their powers. And they have like fire, ice, earth, and wind powers. You got to go to different screens. Oh. It's a multi screen game. Shoot that dragon. How do you shoot? You were just shooting. Yeah, it Did happens first... outside my control. Oh, it's like up or down or... There you go. Get that thing. Get that thing. Now you're the fire dragon. Oh no, I've changed the type of thing that I am. And then you, <laughs> then you have to go find other dragons. Defeat them. I mean, a magic makes good games. This one... It's okay. Water dragon. It's the water dragon. Defeat the water dragon. Oh, you went off the screen. Oh, he's back. Almost. A little closer. Oh. Gotta get a little I closer. I wish I knew how <laughs> I was doing that. Oh, it's in the water. You can't get it. Why not? I don't think you can get it in the water. Stop flapping. Go to the water. Don't you tell me what to do. <laughs> oh, you sank was, in the water. Okay. I was trying to not die. Oh, oh, you flapped. Yeah, because I didn't want to drown. I heard Drag a beep beep as I was getting deeper, dum-dum. <laughs> Yay. So you have fire. You have water. Go to the left. I think there's another screen. Oh, there might be one to the right. Oh, no, no, there's not. Made by Michael Green. Oh, and oh. the... He's yeah. back, but I don't need him anymore. Is the air, I'm guessing. Oh, oh that was an easy defeat. Oh, oh. I'm very good. You are. Very good. Destroying. I don't think you've died. Have you? Now you've got air. Now you just need ground? What did I start as? Nothing? 
I guess you're you're nothing dragon. Timer stopped oh. at 428. That's weird. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, probably because I'm like pressing buttons and stuff. No, it should be gone. I nope. got the water one. Got the air one. <laughs> got another air one. <laughs> Nothing there. I think you have to go back around. Here, you do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing to the right. Was there anything below? I don't yeah, know. Was the Did water I kill that below, one? right? Yeah, you got the fire guy. Yeah. Maybe above? Because below water was water, below. right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's go above. Nope. No. I think it's to the left then. And that's where you started, so maybe there's, there's something over to the left. Oh, yeah. Maybe to the left or up or down. Uh -oh. oh! What the hell just happened there? I went left. Nope. And down from there is the fire as well. Where's the fourth element? We've got blue, we've got red, we've got yellow, we need white. Whatever that is. Have you figured out how to shoot? Yeah, it's up. Um, Did I get hurt? Not why? You've I returned, returned, to, returned to your self. I did. That's okay. Maybe you have to sink through the waves. Oh, maybe. Let's do that. Oh, nope. Oh, he struggles. It's all wet. Okay, let's go to the right here. No. Nope. Must be a direction or a spot we're missing. Oh, what is wrong with my... Oh, I'm terrible. I could only shoot like one... Maybe that's the water dragon thing. Oh. Right. I don't know. I don't recall having that problem. No. I can't go up here. I know going down from here just goes... What the hell? Anybody know where I'm supposed to go? He stole... He stole my fire. Luckily, he is the fire. Come here. Come back here. Oh, my God. It loops around. I have to go in one of these castles, maybe? Maybe. Not there. See, I'm flashing. The thing in the bottom's flashing. Yeah, which see would that. indicate, like, oh, you're done. You've got all of them. Go somewhere. But I can't seem to go anywhere. Oh, uh -oh you, you me. died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's really. Oh, it was flashing. Oh my goodness. Got a point for bumping into him. Got another point for bumping into him. Come on. Nope. Sit Oof. there and it'll come to you. Yeah. Thank you. Two points for getting the fire. The, th the map at the bottom doesn't seem to change at all. Like it's just a blue and a red. Ugh. Yeah. Maybe I go down the middle of the water? Nope. Oh, my fire power is fine. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I don't think that, that was it. No, nobody knows this game. Nobody knows this game. I think we're over five minutes anyways. What Whoa. did you just do? What the... Ta did I drown? Went into the water too much? Yeah, we're, we're over the five minutes because it was stuck. Okay. Uh, and that is the last of the PAL games. Now we're on to uh, Marine Wars. Hi, little cat. And back to the 2600. Boom, boom. I'll just exit out of that so I'm not like wondering what the hell's going on. There we go. Oh, I know. Life is rough. What? That was my stomach. Oh, was it? I yeah. thought it was the cat. No. <laughs> cat makes the exact same sounds. <laughs> okay, now Darcy needs to see. Too many controls. So many controls. There we go. Next game is Marine Wars by Konami. First Konami game, I think. RC102X02, made by, I don't know, they won't take credit. It seems 
so far to be possibly couch compliant. Yeah, you started. You're shooting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting murderized. And you're murderizing them too. Ordered the Atari 2600 Lego set. I have to say, set. I don't understand how these uh, missiles work. They all seem to go towards the center. So you have a very limited range of shooting options. Yeah. Uh, no, I didn't order the Atari 2600 Lego set. Because I already have one. I'll show you. Sorry. Oh, Something was precarious. Oh. See? I already have one. I made it years ago. Ten, you made it. Um, yeah, the, the new Atari Lego set is way oh. too expensive I, for I, what you get. I got it. I got to announce. Actually, people said it's on. No idea what's happening. Oh, oh. sorry, kitten. Uh, people said it's actually on par with how much Lego sets cost per piece, but um, I'm just, it's just too much. It's very big, too. Um, so I'd rather have the tiny one. I don't really have room for it either. You kind of have to wait for them to come into the spot. Actually, yeah. they just keep coming, so why don't I just keep shooting red ones constantly? Oh, nope, they're done. Time for green ones. Yeah, it's very weird. So I moved to the... Oh, now some more green ones are coming. But I can shoot that blue one. I think it's maybe that the green one got closer. Because it's not red. It used to be a red one that was close. Oh, you... are kind of steering them. You're making them move. Rather than your shot. See, if I go to the... that way... See the, the blue ones move? If I go this way, uh -huh. even the island in the background moves, which is kind of cool. But really, oh my god, he's coming right for me. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, the sun is set. Oh, it lights up. Very nice. Oh, oh and there are some little ones there that you can only see when it lights up. Uh, or, how am I supposed to get... You did kill one of them. Uh, thankfully. Because I don't know how you're supposed to get them after you defeat all the other ones. Oh my god, they're, they're tiny and they're impossible to see. So Luckily really, you have infinite... Oh, you can um, shoot tons of times at it. Oh, there we go. Now it's happening. Oh, it's on auto fire too. Why not? Phaser Cat Game says, I was a marine and it was nothing like this game. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a little bit? You couldn't steer the enemy ships when you moved? Well, you're... They're, it's kind of, kind of weird. You're steering, but they're also moving at the same time. Uh, it's not a great game. It's not the worst. It's, uh, it's a game that um, James has decided he'd rather that I play it. <laughs> than me play again, yes. It is not great. I would not pop it in the system ever again. Mostly because of the controls. Yeah, I don't like, get them. Like you're constantly almost firing to the center. You can't shoot outward at all. So you have to steer the ship, move the ships to the center, then fire at them. It's it's a bit wonky. It's a bit weird. I've got a story for the next game. Uh-oh. I don't mean uh-oh, you have a story. I mean uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, you got a shot? Sorry. You have 12 seconds left. Then You can do it. Beat the game! RC70, yes, that was years ago already. Okay, next one is Puyan. Boom. Oh. So, Puyan was also made by Konami. It was also an arcade game. RC100X02, made by, I don't know, converted. 
Shoot the wolves. They shoot at you. Avoid their shots. You can shoot their shots. Don't let them get to the bottom. What the hell? <laughs> oh, now you're starting. Okay. No, that was me. Um... It was? They also have shields. Okay, now that that guy's gets got to the bottom, he's going to poke his head out. Avoid him. Go to the top, get the super shot. That goes through multiple balloons. Oh, get it, get it. I don't think you got it for some reason. Now you got it. There we go. That's the super shot. The wolf stuck his head out and pushed you off. Oh. That's the game. Oh, okay. Ah, just avoided death. Okay, so for my, like, I don't know, 11th birthday or 12th birthday, whenever I had my Commodore 64, um, our friend Dean <laughs> uh, got me a, got me a game, and he was giving me hints at what game he got me. <laughs> and he's like, "Oh my God, it's amazing! It's like this 3D game, and um, like it's got this crazy perspective to it, and you're like you're fighting this huge dragon, like is almost the size of the screen." And um, and he was like super hyping up this game. <laughs> And uh, then uh, when uh, I opened the present and uh, popped it in, uh, it was Puyan. <laughs> there were no dragons. I was, think it was something else, incredibly or was disappointed. Even though Puyan on the C64 is actually a really good game. Um, well, I thought it was this dragon game that you're fighting, and it was in a castle, and he was, like, talking it up. He wouldn't tell me what game it was. Um, he just t told me about the dragon. Um, I do not have that game anymore. I copied over it. But was he mistaken, it. or was he oh, just joking? No, no, or he was joking. He was lying about it. But it why seems would like you... a very funny joke. <laughs> but why would you tell, tell the person you're giving a present to that... That it's a way better game than what they got you. <laughs> like, it's like saying, oh, yeah, I got you, like, um, I got you a Tesla, uh, Tesla Model X. Like, it's worth $100,000. And then they, they, um, show it to you and they got you a 1981 Chevette. <laughs> yeah. That, that has very bad brakes and, uh, needs lots of repair. And you'd be like, oh, well, thank you for the car, but uh, it's quite a disappointment. <laughs> this is not a terrible conversion of the game. It would be a lot better if the wolves, like, moved down rather than chunked down. It's, it's There's no reason why they're chunking down either. Like, zero reason that I can figure out. I think it's funny that the wolves look like wolves in some cases, and other times they look like people with lightsabers. <laughs> <laughs> I never liked Arca Arcade Puyan much. Now they're going up. Oh, pff, bloody hell. Oh my. And they get up to the top and they push the rock off. On your head. So why is there someone at the top raising and lowering a little pig or cow? Oh, that's your friend. The pig? You're a pig. I didn't even tell you that you're a pig. You oh. were able to figure it out. That's pretty good for Atari 2600 graphics that you figured it out. Uh oh, two wolves. Ah! Oh my god. We're not going to see the wolves pushing off the rock. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not the best game in the world. It's an okay shooter. Uh, the 2600 version is, is not great because of the LCD screen-like movement of the enemies. Wow. Like, there was no point in which you could have shot that wolf that got to the bottom. Yeah, they have their defenses up a lot in this 2600 version. Ah! Oh, you gotta watch the wolves. Yeah. I mean, it looks good. The graphics are pretty good. Like, the, um, the, bo the rocks on the side, the rock face, the rock wall. Mm -hmm. It's quite yeah, good, it's good with the yeah. different tones. We've got a wolf coming up. Oh, time's up. But the the movement like that is not good. So next one is Strategy X. Told you we're in the, the bad era of games. This is by Konami as well. RC101-X02. Uh, Your tank 
you shoot things after you reset it. You're not actually playing. You what know, was funny is that it was reacting. I know. It looks like you're playing, but you're not actually playing. You shoot through that wall, make a path. Yeah, this game you have almost no time. You have to like... Shit on an angle. <laughs> it's it looks neat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, can you reset yep. for me, please? Oh, good music. <laughs> ah. Oh. Like the screen keeps progressing upward. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So you're really forced. Like, you gotta get up. Yeah. Get ahead of things. I'm guessing I need fuel. Do I shoot it? Nope. I touch it. Because I did not gain fuel. Ah! No! Hang back. Whoa. I mean, it's not bad looking. It's a scrolling shooter. Oh, come on! <laughs> I'm gonna try and touch the fuel. See if I die. Oh. Uh, oh, you died. I won't make it. <laughs> uh. hey, run, run, run ahead. Ignore that guy. Run, run. At least you can go through the, the shrapnel. Games where you have to... Oh, it, did his uh, shot like disappear everything. when I shot him? Oh, my feel is bad. Yay! Yeah, you can die. The oh. ones where uh, shrapnel will kill you. Oh, so much harder. Like, you have to stay... Oh, oh. oh forget that guy. I gotta make a path. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, you made a path. I did, technically. I'm just gonna go through this green. Oh, the fuel. Oh, cool. oh my god, the fuel goes down. Oh. Really fast, like, constantly. I need fuel very badly. Ooh, good sound for the fuel. And dead. <laughs> <laughs> if the tank moved just a bit faster, this game would be pretty good. But it moves so slow. Oh, it just moves so slow. It's painfully slow tank. Maybe there's like a power up for movement later on. Yeah, maybe. Ah, you at least. Oh, another problem is that. What did I crash? I shot him? you at the same time you shot him. So I press to the right, crashed. and you let go from pressing to the right, mm -hmm. automatically turns forward. Uh. So when you're shooting at somebody to your left or right, you have to keep pressing left and right, yeah. or he'll start shooting straight. Yeah. But once you know that, that I just figured that out, uh, it makes it a little bit easier. This is not... Oh my god! Not a bad game. You just move so slow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's got nice barriers, a couple enemies, it's got fuel you have to worry about, they're shooting at you. Movement is it's really weird and slow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's a tank. It's slow. <laughs> Seven seconds. It's unnecessary yeah. jerk scrolling. Yeah. yeah, it is very jerky scrolling. Like scrolling is really strange. It also has that stretching effect as well at points. Yeah, it's oh, all yeah. jerky. Like the optical, uh... Ah, uh, yeah, exactly. Ah! You know, it's not... It's not a terrible game. It could be a lot better, though. There you go! Next one, I do have the cartridge for. It's Spitfire Attack. Oh my attack god, the enemy Bradley. blew up the f fuel. It did? Yeah, that was, that was cool. What? That was cool. Shoot 
Plants shoot the ground. Don't aim at the ground too long. You will crash into it. You have to pull up when it says doo -doo 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 -doo. That's the game. I mean... The graphics are great. Like the planes coming at you, really good. And the movement of the ground, very fast. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, this is by Milton Bradley, uh, product number 4363, also known as Flight Commander. Yeah, look how, how much better the scrolling is on this than uh, the, the last Konami game. Oh, you're gonna get shot! Oh! And isn't this scrolling, like, the hard way? Left and Side, right? Yeah. Yes. They did something very clever in the fact that they put kind of a winding river or a path at the bottom made out of what I'm guessing oh, it's backwards. well it's proper. it is proper yeah for an airplane but it's that you have to turn your brain into I'm in an airplane yeah you have to and Go then it's airplane correct. mode and if your brain was I'm in an airplane and it wasn't like this you'd be mad uh, I think they're using the ball for the path and you can move the ball perfectly, pixel by pixel. Oh my god, what is shooting at me? Why am I... What is happening? Uh, Anti-aircraft, maybe? Yeah. I mean, that looks like what you would expect. I gotta shoot aircraft. those things. Uh, there, now it's yeah. gone. Okay, so I have, to go to, I have to shoot those now. Ah, missed it. Oh, I gotta pull up. No! <laughs> Graphics excellent. Um, gameplay a little samey, samey. Just do the same thing over, but it's not easy. Get lots of stuff on the ground. Planes are getting dodgy. As in, they're dodging me. A lot better. Oh, God. You can't even miss one of them. Oh, that's it. Another go at it? Yep. Danny says, says, I got this game with a controller. Oh, this game came out with a flight stick controller. Oh, interesting. That would be cool. What did it, uh, what did it look like? It was like a, a handle grip type controller. Oh, you missed a plane, but it was off the screen. Yeah, when you knock the planes off the screen, it, they stop shooting at you. Ah. It's like wrapping a towel around your head. Yeah, I don't see you, you don't see me. <laughs> they actually disappear when you go off. Like, instantly gone. I mean, that's not crazy. That's funny. I mean, it's, it's like, not realistic. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Oh, same but. with the anti-aircraft uh, uh, things. Uh, yeah, they just disappear. That's that's not great. Sure, but I actually think the uh, <laughs> like, I actually it, think <laughs> what they have going on is pretty cool. It is really really cool. I've played worse, um, you know, like airplane games on a PC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So as long as they don't voluntarily go off the scene, you're like done. <laughs> it's just, there's only 45 seconds left, and it's like one of the better ones to play. I don't want to hog all. It's true. Fun. Ah, no! Oh. oh my god. They look really Foster good when they get. Left, though. Oh, true. The airplanes look really good when they get close. Like right before they're about to kill you. <laughs> So if I do like this constantly, I keep the ground out of sight. You won't get any points. Yes. I would live forever with yeah. no points. There doesn't seem to be a timer. Well, I don't know what the goal of this game is. Points. It's just the engine. Next one, Survival Run, also by Milton Bradley.
Did you say survival run? Survival run. Uh, four, three, six, two. Also known as Cosmic Commander. Shoot the things! That's what you gotta do. And there's a little map up at the top that you um, guide yourself through when it comes appropriate time. But you have to shoot all the things first. I'll tell you what to do when you get to the fork in the road. You want to go to the left. Left, left, left. Don't shoot it. There you go. Shoot the yellow dot. Oh, I see. Oh, just in time. Because some of them are dead ends, so you have to navigate to not the dead ends. I'm guessing that should just automatically go around the corner. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's very cool 3D perspective. Like, really, really good 3D perspective. Um, are you just shooting at things? Oh, it's a uh, hold the trigger down. Oh, wow. That makes it easier. Midnight here, perfect after dark. Yes, that is true. It's got a couple things going for it. We'll see if it gets even any harder. <laughs> Darcy's is crushing it! Crushing it. On the left. Yeah. I think you just have to put the crosshairs over the, the door you want to go to. Your airplane's wings must be damaged because you can only turn with your rudder. Yeah, that was the previous game. <laughs> Ooh, just in time. Are you looking at the time? Yeah, yeah. You're going to hand it off to me at halfway? Yeah. 2.42? As we get to this corner. Okay. Yeah, after you turn the corner. Or at the corner. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know how the, what the rules are. Neither do I. I think you just have to be on the right or left. Shooting at dots. Shooting at the dots. Shooting at the dots. Yeah, we're going right. I mean, the look of it's really good. Beyond that, eh. It's very easy to take up the bullets. Your bullets are quite large. Here's a picture to the controller. Ooh, I would like to see that. Can you click on it? Oh, wow. Yeah, I have seen that before. Wow. That's pretty cool. So you have crosshairs. Quite elaborate. Yeah. So you still have that now? Or did you have that back then? Yeah, this game... So what happens if you go to a dead end? Do you just have to turn around, or do you die eventually? Well, let's do that on... This one. This one? Sure. A it, it, literal wall. What about... So, like... Oh, hold on, wait at the start uh, again. What about the ones oh, where, like... Okay, hard. turn right, then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, better. with a longer... Like, are you just wasting your time? I would guess so. Or it might just crash. I mean, it should crash automatically, yeah. because why Otherwise, would you... you're just wasting time. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's a thing where you have to look at the top and go at the end of the level and go, oh, left or right, okay. And based on your perspective of left and right, because it depends on if you're heading to the left or up or down. Which is, you know, it's something... Would I say this game is good? No. Does it have some things going on? Yeah, no. The the, pers the 3D perspective, super cool. Uh, the left-right thing, the map at the top, that's pretty cool. The game itself is not fun to play. It's way too easy. <laughs> Maybe there's a harder version where there's multiple um, enemies on the screen. That would be good because there's no reason they couldn't put multiple enemies on the screen. Uh, okay, it's a dice puzzle. Dice puzzle. First puzzle game in a long time. Slash board game. Okay, there are gonna be dice. Press button. No. 
It's gonna be dice. You have to turn them all to six. So you've got your little controller, your little dot. Uh, go. Where's the dot? There it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, so now you're pointing down. Press the button. It'll increase them all by one. Now you have two sixes. And you can do a diagonal that way and a diagonal that way. See, that's pretty good. More sixes. Your goal is to make them all sixes. Oh, 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 oh. Um, hmm. Because you've got three fives there. So you might want to do three fives down the right-hand side. So this is made by Panda, uh, cartridge 106, also known as Bingo for some reason. Hmm. Ah, so that it loops over, it doesn't go down, okay. Yeah. Oh, we got four fi fives. Do that row on the right-hand side. To what end? I know. <laughs> like, I can it's, get it, but then... You kind of have to get them all going in the same way, right? You have to get them all even. Yeah, that's why I, I was working to get them at fives, but now it's like... I don't know what the rule... What I don't know what you should do here yet. Yeah, oh, you've got a... a you can either do that, or you can do that. And that'll make those all sixes. So I'm going to do this. Oh, no, it doesn't quite work. <gasps> no, you can do it! Yeah. You can do it in the next move! Yes! You did it. I didn't think we were going to get a winning... Now you have to go all the way to the left. And you have to press that five times. I didn't think this would be possible to win. Does it just look too hard for me? When I yeah, there was some luck it. there for sure. Yeah. I mean, like, I was working towards it, but some of the side things worked out for me by luck. It's kind of Rubik's Cube. Oh, the music is atonal. Dun, Your dun, turn. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, thank you. Now you can watch me lose. <sighs> I have no clue. Uh, I don't even know where to start, really. <laughs> Yorgi's Castle. Uh, what time is it now? <laughs> uh, 3.07. Well, three, three hours late. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> not too bad. Not too bad. How many more do we have to go? Uh... Two more. Two more. Almost done. So you didn't miss everything. Not quite everything. <laughs> like, I don't even know the strategy. Like, start kind of getting them all kind of in the same realm? If you did one more there, well, I don't know. Close to a 45 one, but uh... I did it! Yeah, oh my god, it. I didn't even plan that move yeah, to that's be. An interesting thing that is um, both no, no, times. No, 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 no! Don't bite me. There's something about it, but the layout yeah. that lends it towards. I don't know. It, it seems like you shouldn't be able to stumble upon it, and both times we've kind of stumbled upon it. Yeah, it's like it. yeah. things were starting to line up, and then it just worked. Well, there you go. You missed them playing three good games. <laughs> <laughs> Two games left. Next one is Scuba Diver by Panda as well. 23 seconds of bonus music. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't, we, don't, we like these people. Don't do that. That's right. <laughs> uh, next Sorry. one's Scuba Diver by Panda. Cartridge 104, also known as Sea Hunt, Fisher Price, for some reason. Skin Diver and Aqua Talk. Um, I'll play this first so you can kind of, rather than me explain, I just kind of... Oh, next game. Just in time. It says Sancho at the bottom because we're playing NTSC version. So you have to dive into the water by pressing the button. See, this does something that a lot of Ugh. games didn't do. Which is that 
like this looks like what it is yeah a lot of atari games didn't look like what they were supposed to be and this like that shark looks like a shark yeah that looks like a ray oh. the fish at the bottom looks like a fish the scuba diver and like the water is blue i don't know it like it it's uh it it, it represents it well yeah. yeah like it looks it looks right i'm not that doesn't mean it's a good game i don't know anything about it I've seen you die several times, so it's, it's got something going for it. Ah! Yeah, it's it's. And it's uh, challenging. they seem to be um, limited by the other fish. Oh, what? And so when you kill the fish, the other fish can then... Because they can't go on the lines that the other ones are on. Yeah, without flickering. You gotta shoot it again? No. No, it just takes a while. Oh, I see. You reel, reel it in. in. Oh. But now I know now look another out. one appears. There's another one. Yeah. It changed colors. Yeah, it's a new fish. But it was there. Oh, and, it changed? And then, I think it was purple down there. And then when it was the last one, it changed to a new color, I think. Oh my god, I uh -oh. missed it. Oh, that was a screen flicker. See, and then that. Yeah. Some weird uh, waves at the top, too, that are flickering in and out. Uh, why? Why people 30 years ago? What Four did they years do? ago, they the didn't let me read. Couch compliance. Yeah, they. Uh, yeah. Couch compliance. I like this, the uh, oh. swimming animation. <laughs> oh, because you have to jump when there isn't. Uh, 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 oh God! You're on your green boat up there. Yeah, fun. Yeah, that's great. Oh, no! <laughs> okay, your turn. No, you go. Yeah, go no, on. it's two and a half. All right, all right. There you go. I wasted a life for you. You pretty much have to jump when there's two of them. The top two aren't there. Oh, you have to stand still to shoot it. Or it comes at you. Oh, yeah. So lead it all the way. Commentary, you naughty cat. It's food time and you're biting me already. Oh. So you fall for a bit before you can swim, is that yeah, it? Yeah, to pretty much the second thing. So they have to be, it has to be quite clear. Okay, you, move there? you know what? I bet I can last longer than you. You know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, dive. Come on, get in the water. No, I'm a fisherman, not a diver. Oh! <laughs> get in that water. Uh-oh. Oh, I shot the wrong way. I startled you, right? Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> they're, very, they're very hungry fish. Yeah. You have to stop. You have to stop! Uh -oh. Oh. That shark is uh, very... I have to get up every 10 seconds. He's... he's oh, wow. Yeah. Uh oh, stingray. Nope. Did Sancho do any good games? Mm. I remember my family stopped buying games in the early 80s. A lot of my roommates at school had games that we would play. Because <laughs> um, just imagine, like, you bought this game. When there's, like, games that were so... Oh, my God! Oh, a misfire is deadly in this. When there's, like... I know. Spider Fighter to buy. Or, uh... No Obelix, even. Even Journey escapes better than this. Oh, he wrapped around a little bit. At least his tail did. It is uh, frustrating that just playing... Just getting to the point where you get to play the game... <laughs> you can't. You can't. Yeah. It's like... Starting the game shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's hard. Oh, come on. No! I accidentally pressed the button. Okay. Now we're on to our last game of the day! No, not many games available in Chile. Uh, last game of the day is Stuntman by Panda. 
Cartridge 105, also known as Nightmare, Dream Flight, and Sancho's Nightmare. This one has some things going for it. Okay, climb up the poles. No, climb up the poles. Avoid the uh, birds. Birds are your enemies in all games. And you can hop, you can jump to the next pole. And you have to make it up to the Now when the birds are in uh, sync with the pole. I know, that's a problem. Oh God. Oh, you're, yeah, I don't know a way that you could have gotten out of that. I may have screwed it up earlier, but. Maybe. Still, it feels like. Uh... That is quite the death scene. No, no, it's still going. It was oh. just super long, terrible, prolonged death. Oh, I see. I think you really got to get on the pole early. Because otherwise you put yourself in a precarious... It's definitely a stripper pole game. Yep. Ah, the blades! My head! Oh, I was thinking they were gonna... Oh my god! I can smack them. Watch out for the devil. Oh, nope, can't smack that. The mustachioed devil. My microphone picked up your dialogue. Our dialogue. Hey, no biting. You bite your leg? He was about to. When he gets cranky and hungry, he starts biting your leg like... It's 44 minutes till dinner time. Oh, uh -oh. I, I... Did you forget that birds are deadly? <laughs> birds are the enemy? Birds are the enemy. <laughs> There's a rope that doesn't move on this one. Or does it just move real slow? No, I don't think it's moving. Oh, it's multiple ropes. I don't know what this little... Maybe you Pickaxes can kill for. stuff with it. I tried. Turn, wake up! Turn around! You have to actually set it now. Oh, okay. Do you try pickaxing now, or do you have to find a pickaxe? I think you have to, they supply you with a pickaxe when you get to the helicopter, I think. Uh, I only got it. The cat's under there. The cat. Oh, he's there. Duda, Duda. I wonder uh, how sad he'll be when he's too big to go under there. Maybe he won't be too big. He could stay small. Cats do uh, do be flexible. Maybe I can smack them. No. Oh god. Oh oh! I slide down this pole. Oh. Oh god. Okay. So the stationary pole don't go on unless you want to slide down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, these games with such long deaths. I know. Uh, it feels like punishment. Stuck. It is punishment. Oh. What happened? Did I miss it? Or did I hit the orange one accidentally? You weren't near the orange one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh. Ah. I think I just gotta... I don't know what I have to do. Well, you just... <laughs> oh. You need to not die until you get to the green one. Yep. Skip the dialogue. Oh, no. I could get on that yellow one, orange one. No! Oh my god, I kind of jumped. <laughs> this game is frustrating. Could be good. Like, I like the, the gist of it. And, yeah, 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 I like moving moving up and down the poles yeah. and avoiding those guys. But the. Um... But I don't know what's going on with the sliding on the second level. It's not really making a lot of sense to me. Like, this is, like, really cool mechanics. Hey, beast! Floop! First Giant level's, floop. First Giant level's floop. super easy. Giant floops! Peter Pottermas? What? <laughs> no, no, no! Oh, I got on it again! <gasps> I got on it again! You can catch it in midair. Catch what? Uh, the ropes. Mm. Oh, I, I was catching it. Oh, 
wanna play as, I wanna get to the top of this one! Just last game. Three lives left. I really wanna figure out this level. It's frustrating the hell out of me. Ugh. See, I can climb the orange one. Weird. I'm just gonna hop on the green one, because that's gonna take me to the... What? Now I'm sliding down it. No! <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I can't touch uh, the blue parts Charles of it. Charles Leland says, I think you die when timer gets to zero. Oh, where's the timer? I don't know. That makes sense. I just got to move fast. Oh, oh I oh, see. Oh, I smacked one of them. Turned it into a bird. Oh. Or not. I was... Were you busily trying to smack something when you should have been climbing? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's life. Come on. I do not understand no. <laughs> or approve. Oh, what the hell's happening? It jumps I... when you hit the ground and... I saved myself. Seems to have been... Somehow. Oh, God. What? Oh, I have to turn them all into birds and then avoid them? <laughs> okay, that's a lot more it's a strange. It's a strange game. Jump, 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 jump! You made it. <laughs> I did make it. Because that's what you did before. Did. You jumped to survive the bottom. Got two more birds to make. Presumably. Presumably. Maybe I have to do something else after I... Okay. Okay. Let me in. Oh! Okay. Not you have bad. to reveal the demons as the birds that they really are. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay. Oh. Now do I have to pop balloons? I don't have my pickaxe. Jump, jump, jump! Only the snake. Can I jump? Yeah, I think I can jump over the snake. Yeah. Okay. Um, not a terrible game. The controls are a bit wonky, but I like the premise. And the length of time that you have to stay dead <laughs> is so annoying. It's terrible. Okay, we're, we're done with that. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> Close your eyes. Uh, we are done with part one of 1983. Uh, part one? Yes, yeah, so there's How many be parts are there? Six. Six parts. Five, five, five or six, depending. I'm going to try and fit five. And then how many parts after 1983? Uh, there's 80, Three? so two. Two? Yeah. I would say. So, what were your favorite games today? I put check marks beside Spider Fighter and Obelix. Extended version director's cut. This game has a bit of potential. It does. It does have a bit of potential. Uh, let me switch over to this. We can stop the timer. And go to that and bring up what's happening soon on the show. So, oh, let me get to the right page. Well, the parachute one. Parachute one, there's a lot I, that I had I mean, promise. Daredevil is obviously like a massively improved version of it. Yeah, the superior <laughs> perfect I, version of it. I thought it was good. Um, so on, when is the, Seventh. The seventh is Sunday. We're gonna do another after dark on Sunday at two. Um 1983 part two. And then uh for Tuesday, I'm definitely gonna find some games to play for sure. And Tuesday is when the Atari Age forums goes down. It's gonna transition over to an online version of the forums. It makes sense to people who know what that means. Okay. I mean, they are online. Uh, okay. okay. They're okay. going to be okay. hosted online as opposed okay. to locally. Oh, I see. Um, and during the day, I am going to do a solo show. Uh, the only reason that works is because I'm playing one game and going for the world record. I'm going to try for the World Jump Ninja world record at 1 o'clock 
I'm just going to keep playing until I get the world record or my hand gives out. <laughs> um, and then on the 19th, uh, we're doing uh, Atari Lynx special because I'm getting my consoleized Lynx, Atari okay. Lynx, yeah. which is a handheld uh, gaming console made by Atari. Um, and then, oh yeah, you're going to be here for that. It says 12 o'clock. All right. So Darcy gets to play with my new Lynx. Sweet. Um, and then two weeks no shows. Not going to be here. Cats will be here. They 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 don't know how to start the show though. Um, so they there will be no shows. <laughs> and then we'll be back. They'll be here milling around waiting for the bell to ring. But they they are. They'll be like, oh, I really want that bell to ring. Yeah. <laughs> Why has it been so many days without bells? <laughs> and then we'll be back to finish up the. Mar gaming marathon uh probably two shows to finish it up but we're trying to get as many in before we go away here so we'll see how far we can get with that we have uh three weeks three weeks before that happens yeah exactly three weeks 21 days um and we're doing about three shows a week so three three nine yeah we could do it we could do it. We can make it. I believe in us. Uh, so yeah, next next time we'll be back on uh, uh, Sunday to do another After Dark, or 1983, and then Tuesday. Um, so thank you everybody for hey, tuning folks. in today. Oh, I don't have the chat up. Can you unplug that uh, computer and hand it over to me, and I can read out the names while I scroll up? Because I don't seem to have it on oh nope i got it never mind we're all good for some reason it turned off did you accidentally press that button no oh oh just went to sleep coincidentally you just, uh, thanks uh, for hanging window. out yeah the cloud which is just somebody else's computer yes uh thanks for hanging out with us splendid nut al nefer thrust Kathman 2d mike latow danny vc uh, Charles Whelan, Yorgi's Castle, uh, Arena Foot. Who else? Looking for original names. Phaser Cat Games, Happy Coding, ZX. I'm guessing he does coding for ZX Spectrum. Just a guess. Um, and thank you for being a first-time chatter today. Um, Bratwurst Sausage. Bratwurst was here. Yep. There we go. Somebody must have went in the forums or we mentioned his name and he appeared. I didn't even <laughs> notice that. That's awesome. Uh, Losing Gumby. New names today. That's awesome. Uh, who else? I say on the fur? I did now. Uh, and Colonel Lama right at the end. You're very welcome for the show and Al Nefer. Yes. Okay. Um, so thank you for hanging out with us slogging through a uh, lot of terrible games some mediocre some had potential a couple really good ones mostly bad because this is the year of the crash this is when tons of garbage was put out for the 2600 which contribute to the contributed to the crash of 1983 of consoles in north america and didn't recover till the nes came out in 85 86 so it was gone for like two or three years. No consoles doing well at all. They're just gone. So we'll see you very soon. Have a good week weekend. It's Friday. Awesome. Have a good weekend. Bye, everyone. Cats, say bye-bye. See you next bye -bye. time. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs>